All right, hello, welcome to something I promised. Promised a little bit. I think I might have mentioned it at some point. At some point, um, somewhere. Uh, the the quote unquote promised all trophies guide for Pinzels. Um, the footage you're watching is my personal best for the 60 FPS run of the run. Um. I do think it is nice that I'm showing this because it is probably the longest route, but only by a few little things. There's only a few things here and there which are different enough from like the console and 30fps route um, that you'll need to learn. And it's not really like, it's not something I'll need to show you. You can just probably just like, like, like for example, the Lotra skip can do 60fps, so you would just do that skip at one point, but only one really. Like it's, it's like a very minor uh, split in the actual run. so. That's what I mean by that. Like, I'm, I'm glad I'm showing this because it'll just show like the alternative in case you're doing 60 FPS. Um, another cool thing is that in theory, you could probably use this for either this original version of Demon Souls. If you just want a trophy hunt, you don't even want to do the speed run. You can just do. You can just follow this guide as your yeah, as your route or something. You start like a new account or something. You you play a uh, new um, character. Whatever count you want to get the trophy for, the platinum trophy, and just go there, and maybe even the remake. Uh, I've been hearing that some of the trophies might be different. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. I haven't, as of right now, that's you know I haven't uh, played it. But I heard that they're actually gonna take out some. Like what I've heard is that they're gonna take out the uh, weapon upgrade trophies, which would be among the harder ones to uh, to get. That's probably the ones that a lot of people struggle with. Um, but um, if that's so, then even better. Like, the only thing that might change is if they have patched dupes, you may need to go to New Game Plus, like, three or something for um, multiple, say, a Stria Souls. Like, you need, like, four of those, I think. Three or four. Um, but, I mean, that's just playing the game. There's not much to that. So I'm trying to say. So, you could use this for even the remake. Um, I'm... Debating maybe doing a trophy run for that, like, like whenever I get the game, I'll definitely play and get all the trophies in my first character. But I'm debating on maybe also doing like a like a like a trophy run speedrun kind of thing. <laughs> we'll see about that though. Okay, real quick before you start, it only occurred to me afterwards. I should probably show you how to like set up a new account for both console and emulator. Uh, so as you can see, uh, this is like my usual like any percent run account for for this. So as you can see, you already have some trophies. Uh, you need to have a fresh account uh, whenever you do these runs for verification, if you're gonna submit to leaderboard. So all you need to know is that you can go here, you know, name it, I forgot how to use this keyboard. I don't know, ET for all trophies, that I usually do. Very new. And then yeah, so it should have no trophies here. Oh wait, no, no, no. log into it, there you go. Log into it, and there you go. So no trophies, and then you can like log into the actual game, and then go from there. Um, I would recommend if you're gonna be grinding this round a little bit to create a few. I think here I have a few. Yeah, I have like I guess I had three, and then I erased one because I was done with that round. Like that was done. So yeah, I would recommend doing a couple of them uh, to have ready, so you don't have to like make a new one every time you reset. Just have them ready to to go. Um, but yeah, let me now show you how to do it in the emulator. Okay, and for the emulator, uh, it's pretty easy as well. All you have to do is go to user account. Uh, this is probably the first one you have. It's just going to be the 01. This one right there. Um, you, all you have to do is create new user and then name it whatever you want. ET if you want. Okay, apparently you have to have more than characters. And then make sure to log in. And then you just need to make sure because they made a couple of counts if it's um if it's fine check here as uh, if it shows your percent with no trophies here on the side you should be good because for example if you're one that already has trophy oops for example when i was in when you go here it'll show 100 percent or i don't know any percent whatever it is i think yeah and then this one shows like what you already got and stuff for example If you actually want to easily, you can actually copy this a lot easier as well. If you just want to copy, like for example, what I do, 
is I made the, uh, if you, as you saw there, I made like a template, what I call a template one, the, the 10. Um, the reason I did that is because I actually have that character, like it has the top slot empty and then like the other three are filled up. That way, whenever I load up the file, it'll just have the th the three already filled up, and I only have to get new character. And then, and if maybe I don't get a trophy, I need to reset. I can just delete that character, and I'm done. So, to make things easier for that, an emulator as well. If you want to do that, uh, you will have to go to wherever you saved your emulator, the RPC S3, and then go to the Dev HD HDDO, and then Home. And that's where you'll see all your accounts. So all you have to do then is like copy, like if you're going to use your number one as your template, copy that and then paste it. And then just make sure to rename it to whatever. I'll just keep the numbers in. Uh, you will have to rename it in the actual uh, user account uh, thing as well, because it will just show as template again. For example, for me, it was just template over and over. So I just renamed that. Um, that's an easy way to just copy a bunch of profiles without having to create manually. Uh, and you can always check if, to make sure the trophies are not collected. Uh, I'm not showing this because it's going to be on my actual files, obviously. But yeah, so that's how you copy easily. Uh, unfortunately, there's no, as far as I know, no easy way to do that, like on the PS3. But I mean, yeah, that's a, that's still an issue too. All right, so let's get started here. Um, the first thing you need to know, well, I guess let's start the video and then we'll we'll see. Uh, so you're wondering why the logos uh, went really fast there is because I have the 60 PS mod for this game. Um, it uh, not, not only does it unlock 60 PS as a thing you can do, um, it also does that. It makes the logo just the, all the logos just brrr. so it's pretty neat for for the ultra vista speedrun. So you gotta like reset your thing all the time. Um, but yeah, so for this speedrun you need to start with magician class uh as usual name and gender don't matter appearance doesn't matter of course uh skip tutorial there's no no trophy in the tutorial you can get whatsoever i mean there, there's i guess you could optionally get one if you get like the the gray demon soul from the vanguard the early i guess you don't have to kill the other one but that's definitely faster if you just do the you just kill the second one <laughs> so no need yeah, so as always, go right into 1 1. Uh, for the first bits, this is going to look very similar to the 80% route. It's going to be like just running through the area, picking up a couple items. Um, basically, to get to the, the fog gate with the blue white knight. Um, until then, it'll actually be like pretty identical to the original one. I believe that's the first like difference. Because right now, you're going to pick up the first firebombs like you usually do in. Um, in any percent so yeah pick up these firebombs right here that's the first item you need um then just go on your way as you usually do i mean if if, if you haven't seen any percent speedrun also like maybe just take note of the movement and all that i'm not gonna focus too much on like the the optimal like speedrun stretch um because it like it, it is a very like long run so like being optimal especially early on for the speedrun isn't that big a deal but i mean yeah if you, if you want to grind it hard and optimize i mean i mean you could probably learn a lot of the tech and like sp speed movements i guess if you want to call it that from like my 80 percent guide or just any percent in general learning that route yeah so here instead of going to foggy you're gonna go here pick up a few more fire bombs right here right there there's gonna be six there should be five and the other and six here <clears throat> right here what i usually do is um rearrange my items So I put the wooden catalyst on my left hand and I put the next seal button at the back. Uh, this is one of the few areas where like you got like almost no like you know, just just no no nothing else to do. Like little downtime not to do. Oh, uh real quick, one thing you can do here in um in 30 FPS in console that I've seen Silico do, but you can do it in 60 FPS is like I think I think it's right here, like behind you, right here to the to the right of you. Before you take that turn, you can actually do like a very like like a very um, 
sharp turn and just like your your movement your like your momentum in the air will actually get you to like right in front of the thing you're gonna go to here in a sec like or maybe it's not like right here but you can get like here faster so you need to get down to this and break these chains um so yeah if you do like a very sharp turn there you can do this and uh get, get there quicker so it saves a couple seconds so that's one of the things you can do in these roads then right here just drop down yeah so we broke those chains to unleash some items we're gonna grab in a second get this lever i'll recommend quitting out here or reloading to reset the enemies they're very annoying this is one of the more annoying parts of um of the uh the run pick up the cling ring and then here's the two items he broke down it's gonna be the like witches set um which i don't think you need but the old spice that's with them is really nice you can just dupe that and then the other thing was the what was it called the um the jade hair ornament which you're gonna give to thomas later on i uh, right here equip the cling ring personally because like phalanx or like these enemies like if i need to i can just heal or stuff like I can, just for safety really you can afford that safety i think especially early on um yeah here i heal up a little bit so yeah i don't know this <laughs> this first level is actually one of the more annoying ones in, in the run believe it or not because like that those fire hollows at the bottom are just annoying they overwhelm you sometimes they'll explode the thingy things but like not, not always uh, right here you're gonna do this just kind of like land on the ledge if you miss this you can just like fault over like usual put the thief ring there flame toss all these guys because you're gonna have to talk to ostrava to get his uh well not because you need like his binoculars or whatever his uh with telescope uh you need to talk to him for like later for um some items so it's just nice to do his quest and it's pretty handy because the thief's right there you need that anyway so now here you get Rafalchion. You get to have fresh on here. Oh, you also use a fresh spice when you're next to Shava or like a heal, whatever. You, if you need to do something, I would recommend doing it after killing all the enemies. Do I do it here also? I usually like I usually talk to them as I'm falling, that way I can save time, but I, I just face too much to the left there. That's one thing you can do. You can just fall and like as long as you don't hit him or touch him midair, because you're gonna Goomba stomp him. Uh, you can actually just uh, talk to him as you fall and just save a little bit of time not talking to him in the floor. <laughs> yeah, so you got the you got the sim or oh, it was a scimitar actually, not falchion. Um, but yeah, that weapon in there. Um, and then you go basically to the boss. Like I think I think the first fire items you pretty much done. According to my notes in the in the side, I have they're pretty much done. So yeah, you just go on your way back up here. This is the way to go. Uh, right here is a nice little spot where you can just like do some menuing or like heal or recover fresh spice, whatever it is. After you leash these boulders, uh, what do I do here? Oh, I take off the old spice for rearranging later to make my inventory more clean. Uh, then as you usually do, just keep running. Be careful when this bridge is a pretty dangerous area. Yeah, hit that lever for phalanx. Yeah, so if, if I want to make this guide because I do feel like all trophy is definitely one of those like very intimidating routes uh, because of how long it is and like the RNG aspects of it. Honestly, it's not that bad. Um, here, instead of going to the left, like you usually do, you just go. You don't need to turn time for this. Um, I'll explain why in a second. But, um, yeah, it's not really that bad of a of a run to speed on. The thing that's hardest, I think, is like just memorizing all the things or like trying to remember them. Like I would have notes on you like for the first couple runs. I still do, to be honest. Like this run is have notes on me technically. Uh heal up a little bit here if you need to, and then just go on. Like here you're gonna fight them usually how you do for like the Anniversary Sandra, for example, you just run a little bit and then just like I bomb him a little bit. I wouldn't do too many though. I'll do like six or some seven. I don't know how many do that. I guess seven. Yeah. Get closer to him. Uh, if you need to scatter more of the enemies to the small fire bombs, but you could also just flame toss like right there. Yeah. The fire bombs are good to scatter. Like the flame toss is really hard to like hit the boss if there's uh, little mobs around him. So. 
but for, like they hit, like the fire monster hit both the enemies and the boss, so that's pretty nice. But I believe the fire toss or flame toss is faster, so yeah. And then there's your first trophy: grab archstone and get the heck out. So yeah, that's the first level. Not too bad. Only a couple things you gotta get differently. Oh, well, I mean, there's a few, I guess, but yeah. Run up to the Monumental, go talk to them as usual. Uh, although this time, instead of actually, like, instead of leaving, um, like, immediately after talking to the Monumental before they tell you to accept the mission, you actually do have to accept the mission. Make sure to accept the mission. Don't say, if you say no, you actually, I think you'd have, you have to reset, basically. <laughs> So be careful when menuing there. I think it defaults to yes, so it shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, talk to them. Hang out a little bit. Oh, defaults to no. Okay, so don't match too hard there. Thankfully, the input delay is a little nice. Here you fall here. Um, and then go this way. You're going to pick up a Newman grass, I believe. The white grass that's full HP. And you're going to dupe that later on. But yeah, get, grab that right here. And then try to fall on top of the maiden. I, 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 I will reject your run if you don't try at least. <laughs> that won't. I, I always try, but in 60 PS, your, your momentum is cut, so you can't do it. Hopefully when I do console in 30. But yeah, this is levels actually pretty similar as well. To like the magic any percent route. Uh, you know, try to get by these skeletons. You could do the ledge skip here as well. The one to the right here. Uh, right here. Whoops. What's my mouse there? Uh, the, ledge, the skip you can do right here. You could do that if you want. But screw that. I'm going to reload because I hate this area. <laughs> I reset into this area, that's for sure. So I actually do two reloads here because I'm a massive peach. Okay, reload one more time. So what I do anyway, I would recommend reloading at least here in the fog. Okay, that's no that's trouble. Yeah, I hate resetting here, so I just don't. Okay, go grab the Crescent Falchion. As you do. For magic. And then grab the Soul Remains right here. Those. You will need those later. Okay. And then... still You're still going for the Shrine of the Storms. You're not really done with this area, you'll come back later. But for now, we're just trying to get like our, our, our gear, I guess. Do the Shrine of Storm skip. Harder than 60 FPS, but it's fine. You guys to do it. Uh, grab the regen ring right there. That's going to be nice as well. Wait, actually, I don't think I need to use it personally. Grab the Shadow Cloudstone here. That's one difference from the 90%. And then, of course, you go up here and grab the Grey Robber's Ring. I believe that's what it is. Yep, that's it. The PvP ring. Yeah, so there's a trophy for all rings, if you can tell. Uh, here, I believe we skipped the grass. Yeah, you don't get the grass in this. Okay. Okay, now, I mean, I would recommend equipping this, the falchion here. Well, you don't have to, I guess, but I mean, it's a fog gate. You don't got much to do there. It does regen FP, the falchion, so sometimes having it just, like, there is nice. For, like, the small FP, you don't want to, like, use the spice for. Like, you do dupe the spice, obviously, but, like, you don't... You know, something's just a little bit. You don't want to, like, stop. Because it does take a second to heal. Oh! Yeah, be careful with that. Be careful for the tongue. And, and the cleaver as well, but tongue is a little bit more deceiving. Okay, and then right here, like... Go to the left here and pick up this, uh... Oh, right. Okay, that's a stone of Hermalize right there. I, I, I was having, um... Encoding issues when I was doing this this stream, unfortunately. So there's some janky shit going on. Apologies. No, it's not an invalid run because of that. Less of the uh, less of you really did seem like I was cheating, but like I was splicing something. But now this was streamed on Twitch. Okay, so you're gonna go to Thomas now. Uh, you're gonna dupe the swollen demon soul, the one you just got from Adjudicate. You're actually gonna dupe all souls, but for now, I just do a swollen. The new moon grass. The old spice. And 
Ah, oh, right, I did that. I forgot about that. So don't do that. Don't 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 mess up. Because <laughs> if you next if you dupe with Nexia Pine and mess up, you're gonna lose your souls. Which is fine because I just duped the Shit Crystal anyway, but yeah. And the Stone of Hermalize, you're gonna dupe those. And then you gotta take all of them. Although for the Stone of Hermalize. Oh, I messed up. Okay, okay, okay. So for the Stone of Hermalize, only grab 28 of them. Uh, that should leave you with 30 on the inventory because you you had one. You took out one from the box, which didn't exist, so it kind of just got duped or, or, or like got underflowed, and it's, it, it means that there's going to be a total of 1,023 in the inventory. So that means that you now have two in your inventory because you, you retrieved one, but there was none, but it ended up duping it. <laughs> I don't know if that made sense, but you do that. Um, and yeah, so... But, anyway, the reason you need to only get a few is because they do weigh... I mean, I guess everything weighs new moongrass as well and all spies. I guess they all technically weigh, but I guess this is one of those things that you don't need that many of anyway. So, just get like 28. That should be plenty. Uh, unless we die a ton. I mean, you can always come back and get more if you need some. But, yeah, so... It's just nice to not get too much overburdened because you are going to have to mess with burden in this um, run. Is what I'm trying to say. Item burden. So yeah, grab all that. The only one you have to worry about is that. Um, what I would suggest before you finish uh, your menuing there is talk to him and then pop these souls. I just kind of messed up here. I don't know why I'm doing three, but... Yeah, talk to him. That way you trigger his, like, oh, my daughter or whatever dialogue. I think I talked to her just to save time, but... Like, yeah. Oh my god, that's such a bad first segment. So I was just like, okay, let's go talk to him now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you, you talk to him for the, the Jade ornament, ornament, he gives you the Herculean Strength Ring, you need that. And, and then you level, but... <laughs> for me being so sloppy in this first few segments, I, uh, I ended up uh, just going all over the place. So yeah, you get 16 int, I believe start 15, right? Yeah, 15. You, start, you go to 16, and then here you're supposed to stop at 30. Yeah, you stop at 30 magic, but because I was already losing time, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make up for it by duping or using another soul. <laughs> so 30 is what you should be aiming for. This run isn't going to be perfect to what the routing should be, but you know, that happens sometimes like runs aren't perfect perfect representations, but yeah, what's supposed to happen is that you pop one swollen steam and soul. And that should give you enough to do in 16 net and 30 magic. But I ended up popping two because I next to bind it and then I want to go a little extra, I guess. Anyway, now we go to um to Fool's Idol. Archstone. And yeah, go through Sean, uh Tower of Latria. Then grab this ring. This is very similar to like this is actually identical to like almost all the routes for 80%. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing though. In Trying to storms, I would recommend. <sighs> okay, hold on. Let me pause for this because this is, this is actually like really important. In the all trophies run, you have to be mindful of tenancy, world tenancy, just in case world tenancy. Like you don't know what it is if you don't know how it works. Um, to get pure white world tenancy. You need to kill like demons, like the bosses rather, like arch, not arch, just just bosses. Bosses are the arch demon level, and even the primeval demons. Those up your white tendency. But if you die in human form in your body form, uh, that will lower your tendency as well. Um, so you want to aim for pure white tendency first, at least in this level, I believe. Um, yeah, um, most levels actually, I believe. But we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, so you want to aim for pure white tendency in Trina Storms and Latria at first. So don't die more than once in Trina Storms and Latria. Because that would pretty much have to force you to reset. Because there are items you'll miss if you mess up tendency in certain moments. I'll point out every single time that you should be wary of not dying. So for Shrine of Storms, 
I mean, you're gonna go back, obviously. So you you can't afford one death in both of like just both segments of that world, but don't die more than once, or you're screwed, basically. If you need to, throw yourself off a ledge in the nexus so you won't affect tendency there, and that should be fine. Like you can you can do that. Um, that way you don't risk tendency, but you will revive after each boss too. So. If you want to be extra safe, maybe just throw yourself off a ledge in the Nexus every time you kill the boss. Like, you're going to touch every option anyway. So you could do that if you want. That is up to you. But yeah, so, Shrine of Storms. Um, if you do die in that, like... That's why I hate dying in Shrine of Storms, like, for one. I don't like to reset because I had, like, died once earlier and then have to go back and, like, be careful in the next one. But, yeah, so... Try, try to be careful in Shrine of Storms. And then in Latre as well, uh, make sure not to... Yeah, start, try to be mindful of not dying in China Storms and then here in Latria. I will get to the point where we have to be careful whenever we get there. Um, not, not every level you are required to, like, stay alive. And, like, like not all levels will require you to, like... Not, that's not how I say it. Not all levels will punish you if you die more than once. But we'll get there. So, that's just another one I wanted to do. So. Alright. Anyway. So, yeah. So, now that you got that key. You need that key that we got earlier. And then next to bind it to, to open this door. That's why you needed that. That's the only reason. No other items there. So, here's where I start menu a little bit. What I'd like to do, I believe, is have my healing first. Then the old spice. Then either the soul remains or the stone of thermal ice. Like, if those two are so interchangeable for me. And then at the end, have the next to bind. Or Archstone of, or Shadow Archstone later. Yeah, so you can do that, like, through all the door opening animations and level. It's pretty neat. Pretty good level for menuing. Uh, here, you're gonna get this other key over here. I usually kill this guy to get him out of the way and not be annoying, because if you, like, roll past him, he might attack you as you get the key. That's annoying, so just keep going. And then go back. Uh, you don't do a lot to skip here at all. Um, you, you would need to do it later in the run. But again, you can't do it in 60, so I don't. But I will point it out where you should, or you could do it, for sure. But yeah, there you go. So let's buy snacks. Uh, open this door. I think here, you, yeah, I reload. Because it's a nice, like the enemies here are a little annoying. Like that one behind you, he just shot at you. Like the paralysis, he'll probably explode once you're like trying to get out. Roll this guy. Uh, make sure to roll him, because if he paralyzes you and reload, he's, he's going to just stun you again, because that's his spawn point. <laughs> it's, it's a little dumb, but... It's alright. It's not too bad. And you can survive a hit from him, no matter. Like, if you get paralyzed, you can survive a hit. Alright, Ring of Magical Sharpness is right there. Pick that up. You actually do need that, too. And here, if you need to do more menuing, go ahead. So, yeah, that, that's my order, right there. The only thing I need to do left is, uh... Put on the Magical Sharpness Ring. You actually do need it for the full title, so make sure it's on. Yeah. I said the cling ring wrong. I, I guess I don't need to, because I'm human, but... Pick up this ring. Keep going down. Go to the fog gate. Make sure I don't miss anything with my notes. Ah, we're good. Okay, and then yeah, I'll just make sure my stuff is good. You can also drop some items, so you can drop any, like, like I think the, the telescope you can drop if you want. Um, now you're gonna do the arrow trap skip. That's one you do need to do. You can do it in any version of the game. M maybe even the remaster or remake. We'll see. Uh, you do need to pick up the clever rat ring and just as you clever rat's ring as you do this. So if you know how to do it efficiently with like the health setup, do it. If not, you can just like turn this off right now and then go back and then have clever rat set up later because you do need clever rat ring range for this segment. You actually won't need Clever Rat Ring Range that much for this run, but you do need it this early on when you don't have too much uh, damage on you yet. But later on when you get super OP, you won't need as much. But yeah, for now, uh, if you want to learn the strat for the Arrow Trap Skip to get the ring and set up HP, I do have the tutorial for that as well if you need it. Um, and the Blotcher Skip. So I'll probably link that now in the iCard or something. I have no idea how many iCards I'll need this time. I think you're limited to five. <laughs> I usually equip the clever rat ring, clever rat's ring here because it's just a door you don't can't do anything with. 
kill this guy obviously for the full idol and grab this key and then reload cool and then keep going right here be careful with just to not be shot by the black phantom i usually wait for her to shoot again at least in 60 if you're on 30 fps or 30 or a uh, console uh your your roll distance should be enough to like not get shot midair but 60 fps it's really bad keep going again make sure you're in clever out in range make sure you have the sharpness ring you will need all of that be one-handed for this bit sorry for the, but the drops oh i got a rate nice but Okay, four one four R ones, one handed, flame toss, two hand, four R ones, and then go back here and pick up the baby's nail, and then go to the thingy thing. I just sneeze. I hope I was able to mute. You gotta pick up this uh, archstone for the full side of soul, and then keep going. Right here, as you're running, I would recommend to. Or organize your equipment or organize your inventory and have the well was it the soul yeah soul and demon soul uh, at the very bottom because you don't want to accidentally use like the full idol soul for example that would actually be very bad you probably have to reset immediately yeah so that's one thing you need to be careful of if you aren't used to the menuing like for for like using items like souls, for example, like if ones you have duped, be careful to not use any item that you don't haven't you haven't duped yet. Namely, like stuff like the full side of soul, because you will need every single boss. Soul, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I think so far I've been forgetting to do the inventory switch, but I will do it soon. Hope. Oh, pretty sure I do. It takes me a bit, obviously, but I think I do it. Maybe I do it here because I probably miss the elevator. I usually do. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I oh I think I was going to use it and I forgot to rearrange. Yeah, okay, I guess I use it here just for now and then I'll rearrange it later. But yeah, don't use a doll soul. Please. Oh, okay, I was gonna rearrange. Okay, so I rearranged the top of there. So yeah, you just do it. I would just do it after you run out of stamina in one of the running segments. Oh, well, I, hold on. Actually, I should mention, um, as via the route, uh, you are supposed to use two soul and demon souls as they ride up this elevator. That's the, that's the limit you can do. You can't do more than two. If you do three, you're going to miss the stop. So yeah, use two of those at least. You can do, if you like miss the elevator, like you don't catch it efficiently, you can, you can just use more as it comes down. But if you're already on it, you can't do more than two. That's the what I'm trying to say. Um, kill these four guys, of course, as you do. Um, I switched my fist here for a little bit later. Uh, and you can like unequip your yeah Nexio. Oh, why did I equip the ring? I'm going to unequip the Nexio bind because I'm going to equip this archstone next. Like I would have just automatically equipped it, but I was I was a goof. Yeah, so I should switch to my fist. I can do this. They can go bye bye. Um, and then here, you, I would recommend running inside the elevator actually for once, because um, you either way you have to punch a pop, you have to pop a bunch of these um, swan demon souls. In my notes, it says to do nine. Which if you mess up or something, it's, it's kind of okay if you don't do nine. Um, if you find it annoying that it's defaulting to no here, what you can do is like reload after yeeting off your, um, but make sure you get the souls before you do that. You could do that if you want to like make sure the, the inventory is set to say yes first. Uh, right here, pick up this, I believe is a fragrant ring. I think so. that was it. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And then equip the thieves ring. Cause you're going to, you're going to need it for a few seconds here. Probably this one is probably one. Throw a soul remain and grab this item. I believe both of them are shards of mercury stone. I'm not sure, but I, I just usually grab the back one. 
and then pick up this chunk of mercury stone right here and then i think there's a few ways you can go here but i usually take this route i think you go left here that's also fine i usually go straight this way because there's a little stairway that leads you back up okay and then not much to do here just avoid these guys I guess I heal at some point. I don't remember when exactly. I'm guessing one of the elevators. I don't know. I don't remember when. At some point, maybe heal. That's that's fine. I, like, I, would, I, would, I would definitely heal. Where are you? I guess that's where I switched. Okay, so yeah. So, like I said earlier, you, what you could do as you're falling before Yurt is take off your Nexio Bind. For some reason, I went for my ring. Have it, I guess. And uh, the way, that way, the Shard of Arsenal should be automatically... Put on for you. Yeah, Thief Ring helps a little bit here for that enemy. And then up here, you're going to use another Soul Remain. You're going to try to chuck it uh, like over this tentacle thing. It's a little bit awkward to aim this and position yourself. But what you want is those centipedes to be distracted as you kill this lizard. You're going to aim for a... Well, both a chunk. You want the chunk of Moonlight Stone, but you could get lucky and also get the pure Moonlight Stone, which I get there, which is fantastic. If you don't get it here or in another segment, I'll, I'll explain how you can get it in another segment as well. But if you don't get it, it's no big deal. Um, wh what I actually do usually is I actually reset or I re I kill those centipedes that are like they they lay aggro on you again. I kill those. And then reload to get one more shot at that lizard. You only get one more, unfortunately. Um, and then if I don't get it there, that's fine. Just keep going. Uh, I don't know if I can afford that anymore now that I'm trying to optimize. But <laughs> yeah, so I would actually reload like before, like the here. I would reload like here now. That way, we can catch the elevator as it's um, as it's coming. Um, but since I already reloaded late, like I just put a bunch of these souls. You'll do that a lot in this run, as you'll see. Uh, you're gonna pop a bunch of souls. Later on, you replace it and get bigger ones. But yeah, for now, just do that. Yeah. So here you can pop five, but just I think it's a little tight, so be careful. Oh yeah. Uh, just a quick note again. Classic strat, if you hug this r a corner of the elevator, the enemy up here, the gargoyle, will fall. But I forget about that, I guess, and then just... But it's fine, you're, you're not at clever range. But yeah, if you want to avoid that enemy being annoying, just ha hug that corner in until it falls. So these four guys, as usual. Okay, keep going. Let me check my notes, make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope, the only thing I guess is put on the clever rat ring, range, clever rat ring at some point soon. Uh, what you're gonna do is, um, for setting up the ring, is tank one of the magic soul rays from the mind flare on top of the stair, the spiral staircase. Um, you're just going to tank one of those. Um, I guess while you do that, you could equip the ring right there as well. Please. Excellent open my emulator. Yeah, so get up to here. Uh, this is where the mind flare is in a second. There he is. Okay. So stand a little bit far away, but also like make sure not to get not to be like covering by the thing. Oh, I guess I just do this. Okay. Well, one other thing you could do is just tank a soul ray, and that will get you pretty well, and you can just like toggle out of it. Um. But yeah, I would. I would. Uh. You, yeah, I should maybe you maybe top off too if you want to. That's what I did right there. Um. But yeah, make sure I have the clever out room on. So if you if you didn't put it on yet, just put it on at the fuck gate. Should be no problem doing that. Yep. 
Okay, and then now, um, you know, main this fight, there is something extra you can have to do in this room, but I'll tell, I'll show that in a second. I'm not going to explain how to fight this. I, I, even if I told you how to fight it, it's still gonna take a lot of practice. So I don't know. I have a tutorial for that too. If you want to check it out, I'd have a whole playlist for Demon Souls tutorialing now. It's, it's, it was, it was complete, uh, completed a couple weeks ago now. I tell you as much as I can in that one that I can remember. Yeah, just just kill him. Just do it, forehead. Oh, random fight. Oh god, I still remember how this went. <laughs> Oh, wait, is this the- oh yeah, this is the fight where this happens. This is a nice meme. I can't believe I had the stamina to, to finish him off like this. I think I have to do that, but yeah. Anyway, so, right here after the fight, or if you want to, like mid-fight, uh, grab this moon short sword plus one. You're gonna need it for later. Um, uh, just be careful not to fall, because I'm pretty sure you can't quit out if you do. <laughs> just be very careful. Grab the archstone, because you need the soul. That was a gold, really? Okay. Um, okay, so because I did get the Moonlight Stone here earlier, I'm not going to have to like be that careful with the Mind Flares here. I can just go fast like I do in 80%. But, um, yeah, so what I would do if I were you is uh, this, like, kill, kill those centipedes the same way, but I would actually flame toss these guys and until I kill them, because you're going to have to, like, stall a little bit. Kill these guys just the same way, and then also flame toss this mind flare on top. But also be careful not to get too close, like hang back, maybe put on the frame because you'll scare off that lizard. So instead of doing this, just like kill it, but like draw the mind flare down the staircase a little bit if you need to. But also, um, yeah, be careful with lizard, not aggro. So yeah, to to. The, what I'm, the reason I'm saying this is in case you didn't get a Moonlight Stone, you have another chance here with that lizard right there. Um, you could just flame toss it and one-shot it and then see if you get it. Um, if not, if you still don't get it, that's still okay. It'll be a few hours before you can actually farm it again, but... <laughs> um, at least for my routing. Uh, I'll explain something I did later on, but... For my routing, you actually... You're, you're still fine. But yeah, so... Farm that... Or kill that once if you haven't gotten it yet. Uh, right here for old monk, you are two, R one, R one, two handed. That's like the best way to fight it in magic. Route. A little bit risky, but it works out. Right here, be careful not to use a mixed demon soul because it'll be at the bottom. So just go over it. Be very careful. You don't need to rearrange it by any means, but do do make sure to not use it. Grab the archstone. Work out. Yeah, use, use two swollen souls there. For sure. Wait, before I keep continuing, make sure my notes are okay. Uh... Yep, looks everything looks good. Okay. Now you're going to dupe the yellow demon soul, mixed demon soul, dolls demon soul, and lead demon soul. That is the old monk, man eaters. Pulsidal and the Phalanx. So I'll read it. Oh, and the Shards of Archstone. I would actually maybe recommend doing that first in case you mess up the... Um, but so you don't use up the one Shard of Archstone you have. Because I, I just... I'm already switched out. So if I accidentally do use my Shard of Archstone, I'm screwed. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I would recommend doing shard, uh, duping the Shard first, actually. And then yeah, and then you're gonna take out the yellow demon soul, which is bigger than the man eaters or the adjudicator. And then same thing with the archstones as the other thing, which I think I haven't dropped yet. But um, grab 28 of those. That's roughly how many you need with a little bit of leeway. Now you're gonna go get uh, Rudel's key. Lord Rudel, please help me, guy. Please. Oh, I mean, that guy. You're going to save him after this. So, grab the ring. This is a pure white tennis event, right? So, if you die more than once, so two times or more, 
in human form, you are locked out of this. And I'm pretty confident that it's two times. Like, it's a limit, so... Or one is limit, rather. Because I've, I've done this enough at this point. <laughs> and if, if, if you want to, like, confirm yourself, you can do the math. You start a neutral tendency if you're offline, so you start at zero. There's four... Um, four units up for pure white and four units down for, for pure black. Killing a boss... Puts you three up, I believe. Wait. Let me verify that because if that was the case, so you'd probably be have more leeway. Okay, no, 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 it's just one. Okay, so killing a boss is plus one, and then dying is minus one. Oh, okay, I see what it is. Okay, the my the issue with my math was uh, the primeval demons count as plus three. That's what I was thinking about. So, a regular boss just comes with plus one. So yeah, if you do, um... If you, you're gonna start a neutral, right? Oh, there's only three! Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Let's back up. I messed up. I, my, 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 con my, um... My info is wrong. There is plus three for pure white. And then plus four for black. Okay, I'm gonna have to, like... Okay, I'll have that here. For reference. Okay. So yeah, you start out neutral and you kill. Okay, so yeah, you kill. Say for this segment, full idol. You kill full idol. Uh, Man eaters and old monk that gets you a plus three, which is the pure white. Um, the reason why you can still take one death, even though that wouldn't lead you a pure white, is because I guess white just having plus two is enough to count the events. Um, there's a few cases in which you have to be pure black, period, to be in, um, be in, um, to, to have the event, or, like, pure black, I think, maybe it was, was what it was. But I've definitely died once and still was able to, like, salvage the event, so. Yeah, I guess you don't have to be pure white, but you have to be, like, plus two to get the event. So, for this ring, at least, you can take one death. I guarantee it. But yeah, that's it. Anyway, so yeah, um... I mean, not much to do here. I would just put on the Thief Ring at some point, like, I guess, while you're running. Or maybe here at the elevator. Uh, Pop, like, you're gonna now use the Old Monk Soul, the Yellow Soul for a soul, so use that now. If you need to wait for an elevator, use that. But do a quick the Thief Ring at some point while running here. And then go up here, like where the four guys up are, just go higher than that. So this little tablet, we haven't seen this before, this is the pure white event C event of this uh, level. At least three, two, there's a few more I think, but for the items you need, this is only one um, in this area. Grab this key, which is a lower Riddell key, and I fall, okay, good. Thankfully there's no need to panic, I could just reload. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Grab it, and then next to it, or uh, shard of archstone, split, and you're good. So now you can die in, <laughs> in that place because you don't need it anymore. But yeah, now you're actually going to use that key, but first you need to do a few other things. Check my notes again. Where are they? Okay, yeah. So back to three one. You go. You don't. You don't use the skip yet. Um, you use that later. Uh, the reason why you don't is because you, you wait. Oh yeah, it's because you need to be over here, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah, you need to talk to this lady first. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why do I need? A, why can't I do that? Well, yeah, because you need to talk to this lady. Um, you need to buy one shard of moonlight stone because you haven't gotten one yet, and I guess that's just the the most convenient one to to find. You can just buy it because you have a ton of souls. And the Ring of Avarice. I believe there's another way to get it, but I think it's from patches or something, but it might just be like more expensive and like you're already here. So might as well. Like hey, if you if you know another way to get the item, feel free. Um I don't know exactly who routed this. I think Silicon might have optimized it a lot. Um but there's still things you could even optimize from that route too that I found. So 
But I, 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 like, I can't think of another way to make it faster, so yeah. Now you can free this guy. That's why you got the special key from the guy you killed earlier next to Fool's Idol. Uh, when you have the jury stilettos, when you know he's free. Because you need to talk to him at least. And then the last stop is going to be... Please help me. Yeah, kill this guy in the way. He should be one shot. And then... Last cage here. Talk to him real quick. I think the ring is also... Yeah, ring is eaten. I think that must, might be why you do free him. Just for the ring. And then, yeah, you're done there. And now, okay. One one little conversation we need to have before I continue. Um, I did some rerouting of Siloko's run to accommodate for something that was found... I want to say two years ago, 2018, something like that, by Illusory Wall. He did some testing with pure Bladestone in like the like a like a table of drops and stuff. I don't remember exactly how he does it, but like um he emulated like like 500 drops something for the pure Bladestone with a few different luck levels. It actually turns out that if you have more luck, like the stat luck, um you actually lessen your chances of getting a pure blade stone. And even though it sounds stupid at first, the reason why it is is because the higher luck actually makes it so where you get more of the lesser drops, like the shards of blade stone or the soul remains or whatever. I don't know why. I, I imagine it's an oversight. I don't think that they intended to do that. I, I would doubt they would make one of the hardest items to get like more rare with something that's like kind of hard to take back, like a level investment besides like a lot. But like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an oversight. I hope they fix it in the remake. Like, I don't care that they leave the, the rare, rarity as is, is the same as it is. But I do hope they fix the luck draw for Pure Blade Stone. Uh, so yeah, so the the route that Silico does, I don't know if he like routed that bit of it or like someone else said and he just used that and maybe did something on his own. I don't know. All these things, I don't believe, take that into account. I think they assume that luck helps with Pure Blade Stone. So... You would actually do your pure moonlight stone farm now instead of what I'm doing next. Uh, if you want to follow Silico's route because you trust that more, go feel free. Uh, you just watch his run, and that's the, like the the things we do are exactly the same. I just put it later. Is what I'm trying to say. So I I put this moonlight stone later on. The idea behind my reroute was that you're gonna first farm the pure blade stone when you have everything you need to do like a fast like farm session of it. Um, then after that, immediately, you're going to start pumping into luck. Like, after you get all the levels for everything else, you're going to start pumping into luck as much as you can. And then after that, we'll do the farms for the pure Moonlight Stone, the pure Dark Moon Stone, I believe it is, and, like, the, um, the Chunk of Marrow Stone, which is already afterwards. So, so yeah, that's the idea behind my reroute. You're going to go into the pure Blade Stone with lowest luck possible. And then after that's when you level luck for, for some drops. Um, if you just want to YOLO everything and not level luck at all, go for it. Your, your funeral. <laughs> like, I mean, I might do that eventually, but not until I want to, if I want to, until, unless if I want to grind for that sub two hour or something. Because if you look at my best possible time, it seems maybe possible. So, but I don't know. I haven't decided that yet for sure. I need to do more runs. But yeah, so that's all I'm trying to say. If you want to follow Silico's run or like some of the older routes, you I think you would normally do the pure Moonlight Stone farm right now. You would still do the Dark Moon one, I think. No, no, you do that before the pure Blade Stone as well, I think. So, yeah, so I'm I'm doing away with that. I'm personally gonna choose. I chose to reroute this route, and I am now skipping the pure Moonlight Stone and doing the old hero bit. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> so yeah, assuming you skip that. Um, you go level with the Maiden. I mean, you do this anyway, but I might as well. Uh, you get... I think I messed up my levels, actually. Wait, let me just check my notes to make sure everything's okay. Um... Nope, we're good. Okay. So yeah, level to 17 Vit, 30 Intelligence, and then all the levels you have extra go into Faith. For now. And then now you're going to go buy 
Oh yeah, okay. There's another edit I did later actually after this run. So I'm actually short on souls here. I think only by like a couple. But you you want like you normally in this route you would just buy all the souls from uh Sage Freak. I think I'm gonna reroute this a little bit more for my next run and actually save the buying everything until later. The only thing you would need right now, like period, is the the soul ray and homie soul arrow and those you don't need souls to buy you just need to use up one of your your souls for the boss souls basically so you can skip these if you want i'm gonna personally do that in my next few runs as i keep going i'll keep as i keep running this later on but if you choose to you can you can pop like a quick old monk soul and that should be enough to buy everything i think you need twelve thousand souls you don't even need cloak for this and then yeah, and then right away memorize or take off everything I would say, and then memorize. I'll, 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 the order I would do is either homing or soul arrow, soul ray, and then the uh, water veil, or you could do water veil first and then the other two, homing soul arrow and then soul ray. Those are the others you can do. That way you can do like homing soul arrow, and why that's like the way to shoot off with enemies, just a soul ray. And then water doesn't matter. But yeah, now go to four two. Uh, pick up these four mains. Do I do in this one? Except I forget. I do. Okay, cool. Oh yeah. Uh, so again, like I said, don't die more than once in Shrine of Storms. Uh, still applies. I don't think I've died any times, so that's good. Um. But yeah. So. Press this lever, or press this button, you're not going to do the whole hero skip. Pick up this shard of dark moonstone, you're going to need it for later. And then right here, a cool little trick you can do to avoid these enemies harassing you. Stand to the right, left of this pole, and then just take off the frame real quick until they fall. Put it back on. They go bye-bye. Cool little, little thing. Right here, you can just kind of hug the right. And then touch the fog gate. Ah, this fucking okay. So in 30 FPS, there's a skip you can do, like a very minor. Oops, sorry, a, a really minor skip you can do. Right here to the right. Uh, there's a little pole you can jump to, and you're if you're in console or 30 FPS, um, that you can do to skip a, a little bit of this level. In 60 PS, you can't do it exactly the same, but I did find a like mock-up way to do it. And I thought I found a consistent way to do that too, but apparently not enough. And it was kind of triggering me, so I just decided to drop it. <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> if you want, I'll, I'll link my tutorial for for that. Um, right now in the iCard. If you want to go for it, even in 60, go for it. I I, I personally do not want to. Like, I thought it was consistent, but not, apparently not. So I'm just, like, going foregoing it. But yeah, if you're doing console or 30 FPS, you can do, definitely do it, though. So feel free. And then here, so what I do instead, I just do, I mean, I am a little overpowered because I did level extra earlier, but um, I would usually do a homie some ass and then soul ray and just tank the head if I need to. And then I think here I just, like, roll past this guy because he doesn't do, do anything. Yeah. Throw this guy off. Actually, where you land in the with that pole skip is like here, or like right in front of this guy. So you can just knock him off right after as well. Pretty handy. That's where you land, yeah. And then here, uh, because that guy's kind of blocking you, that's a good time to use like an item if you need to go here. Oh yeah, I meant to uh, drop some stones, but I, since I had equipped, I couldn't. I think now I think about it, I should use my like local recording of this because YouTube kind of botches your uh, 1080 quality videos a little bit. Actually, never mind, because it's it's a little convenient to use the like this. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, as we saw earlier, you can just kind of run around this guy a little bit. It's not really a problem. This guy in the front can shoot lasers at you, and that's kind of annoying. 
he didn't do it there, and this guy is also annoying. This is a little tight little segment here, so be careful here. Practice that a little bit. Um, okay, just make sure I miss anything. Okay, no. Alright, here, um, I would recommend dropping here. And then picking this up, the Ronin Ring and Hiltless. You will need both of those, I'm pretty sure, for the trophy. For the Special Weapons trophy and the Ring trophy. And then go back, and then here. There might be a more efficient way to go about around this, but I, I honestly haven't taken the time to look. <laughs> There's definitely one of those little segments I'm like, okay, just get out of here. I'm out. I don't care. Uh, go in here. Make sure you have Thief Ring, I guess, so this fight is easier. Have Homie Soul Arrow already. I'm going to kill this boss a lot faster than um, people usually do because of my added damage from the leveling extra earlier. So you may need to use more like old spice than I, I did here. I think I'm like really close to hit here. And he should be dead. Oh no, almost. Okay, here uh you can pop two yellow demon souls as you wait for him to die. I think I'm around next to the archstone. Yeah. Grab that force. I think I thought I golded but I didn't, so I like messed up my split here. Like one back or something. I don't know. Right there, take off the thief ring in the fog gate. Kill six of these. One. Oh yeah, uh, use a bunch of demon souls. Yell demon souls as you wait for them to come by. You don't need clever rat ring, to be honest. If you really want to, I guess you could have it, but. You don't need it at all. So I don't know. Maybe for optimizing. Maybe that's something I should do actually. I think for optimizing. Yeah. So you don't need clever ring. Oh wait, no. Actually, well, here. So you do need to do you do need to kill at least six of these so the boss will come to you. But because of where you're gonna stand, you you actually w would prefer to kill as many as possible because you're gonna stand here and like shoot him from there once it comes down. But you can get harassed by a lot of these. Um, a lot of these um, enemies, yeah, like there, as you're waiting, you don't kill them before, so. But yeah, as you're waiting, they'll use more yellow demon souls. I would, I would just use as many as you can in here. Maybe make sure your all spice is enough, too. So here, I would highly recommend you, like, kind of, like, follow him a little bit. At least for, like, these first, like, four, oh! First four hits, and then maybe after this last one, you can, uh... Oh, I got really close there. Okay. That should have been a lot cleaner, but... I missed one of them. But yeah, so... Uh, just, just don't go... Like, try to follow Storm King. Like, kind of go in the same direction they are. Because they could get too far from you. And you could miss a cycle. If you're in Clavarat, I guess it could be even easier, but... Yeah, should that if you're in Clavarat, it might only be, like, four or something. I don't know. I'll try it, I don't know, sometime. Um, yeah, now grab the Archstone and GTFO. And then, before you do anything, they'll go immediately, like, after you split, go immediately back into 4-2. I think here I was like, oh wait, go back. <laughs> yeah, go to 4-2, you're gonna pick up the Makoto now. So, you, like again, this is another pure white tendency. After this, you can die as, well, as much as you want in this level. But not yet. So, yeah. Again, you can you can afford one death. As I said earlier. Um, more than that, though, you will not have this sword on the floor. Yeah, there's Makoto. What I would do is, is before I pick up that item, cast some, some of solar because you need to kill this guy. Um, I guess it's for character tendency purposes. I'm not sure actually. Oh wait, no, I think it's just so the center being can like escape. I don't think he escapes if the door is open, but the enemy isn't dead. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I don't think it's for pure white. I don't think this counts. Character tendency. I'll explain character tendency later on as well. But for now, um, yeah, like I said, uh, just homing soul arrow, pick up the item. Have this kill him. It, it might not be one shot. You might need to do a sorry too. 
But as soon as he's dead, as soon as he gets souls, shard of archstone, boom, you're done. And now, before you do anything else, again, go back to 4-1. You're going to do a lot of things there. Well, actually, you're going to set up your pure black world tendency, at least for my rerouting. Like I said earlier, you would actually do Moonlight Stone after uh, Please Help Me, but I my rerouting has you this be the first one. I would recommend killing this guy. He's annoying. I would also recommend you putting Homie Soul Arrow on right here before you talk to him. Because you're going to talk to him, but you're not going to give him the Makoto because he asked for it. Uh, you're not going to give it to him. You say no, 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 and then, yeah, just kill him. He 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 dodged the homie sorrow, that was annoying. Then again. Yeah, that was bad. So yes, kill him. You don't need to loot him. Uh, he drops hiltless, but you already have one, so you don't need it. Then, yeah. And now, okay, like I said, first, uh, since the suicide's coming up, you're going to fall off the ledge here four times. Um. Wait, four times? Why four? I'm not sure, I'm sure why four. It should be more than that, shouldn't it? Because you, you were just a pure white. Um, well, I don't know. Four is enough, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll realize why later. But um, So you're going to do that four times here. Make sure to pick up your souls as you do it, though. That's one thing that you need to be careful of. It, it wouldn't be the end of the world if you didn't pick up your souls, but it's just a waste of time if you don't. So yeah, uh, go back human. Uh, pick up souls, throw yourself off four times. Oh, by the way, you can take out those, like, revive messages if you spam X. I don't know that until, like, a couple rounds ago. <laughs> oh, there's this one, actually, that I figured out. Yeah, this is my third time. Oh, yeah, I'll just equip the ring while you're right here. Uh, was this the last one, or...? I think it's the last one, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, okay, so cracker. Cool. So I just use the thing just to make sure I don't die again. Just revive one more time. And I'm gonna reload again because I'm a massive peach, like I said. I still don't know why you throw yourself four times. That, I mean, if I'm my math's correct, that should only put you at, like, negative one. But you end up a, a pure white. Or pure black, rather. I don't know. There are some definitely, like, a few, like, weird segments like this. Anyway, don't die to that guy, please. Um, I think three homie solo and masses should be enough, even if you don't have my OP levels. But yeah, you're gonna kill him for the great demon soul. Um, you do also pick up the Uchi Katana right there. I just got. Right there, I got it while he's dying. You oh, you can also pop, I think, two yellow souls here as he dies. You could either, like, kill him, then pop the souls, and then grab the Uchi. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, Go here. I would personally recommend you do Soul Ray on this skeleton right here. Not that. That was an amazing shot. Uh, and then grab the Judicator Shield here, and GTFO with Shard of Archstone. So the reason you kill the skeleton there, like I did, is because he can be annoying and not a use cape. Okay. Um, so yeah, four times for some reason. I can't exactly remember why, or I haven't figured out why. Now you level 25 Vit and 35 Magic. This, like, you would definitely, you would have more levels than you need here for Magic, but I did the overkill thing. And the rest of the Faith. Um, although I do have to say, you need at least 18 Faith here. So if you don't have 18 faith, uh, get a few more souls. It's okay if you don't if you have more than that, but you need at least 18. Okay, and now here you're gonna dupe the Great Demon Soul, Storm Demon Soul, and Hero Demon Soul, and every upgrade material you have except for the peers. The peers don't need to do because you'll need one of each. Hero. 
Yeah. Uh, you can also store the pure, so you don't like you need them on the box. Because you can upgrade from the box. You don't need to have all the upgrade materials on you. That's why you never retrieve upgrade materials. You just um, dupe them, and you're done. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. And then after that, you're going to take... Oh, you're actually going to store a few weapons. I'll, keep, I'll tell you which ones in a sec. But after that, you'll take the Storm Soul. The... The, the Storm King soul, and I believe that's the biggest soul you get, period, so like you don't actually need to do anything else after that. You use this yet for the rest of the run. I'm still trying to remember why <laughs> you kill yourself four times. Like, is there something that makes it count as two deaths? Maybe killing the NPC, but I doubt that. I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's the fact that you kill, um... What's his face? That makes it go, uh... Pure black, but I thought that it was irrelevant. I'm not sure. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, so after you grab items... Or, like, before you grab items, uh... Deposit the baby's nail... The short sword... You actually don't have to deposit the short, short sword, you can actually save it, but, like, if you wanna... If you don't wanna worry about inventory too much... Keep it. Or store it. Hiltless, Makoto, Jerry Stiletto, Judica Shield, and all the armor sets. Um, you do you specifically keep the Moon Sword, the Scimitar, and Nuchigatana for later. And yeah, so now we'll go to 2-1. Um, what you're going to do here real quick. Uh, well, first you're going to buy... One heart stone and one sharp stone from this guy. If you have enough souls, so if you don't, just pop soul. Then you're gonna do you can do this funny little trick where you go up these buckets and just like, because you need to get to pure black right away. So you're gonna you're actually gonna do this three times. You don't need the souls, by the way. There's probably a minimal amount of souls here. Okay, so one more. Make sure human, of course. And yeah, that's one. And then you actually need to go back inside to uh, the Nexus to reset the world. You need this world to be in pure black as this. Or I don't think it's actually pure black. If it's only three times, that should land you in... Yeah, just black. That's enough. The only reason you do is because you need the colors demon soul. Which is convenient because it actually leaves you back in um neutral, technically. Cause a, a prime evil is three three uh worth of pure white. But yeah, so there um I take the head because I'm actually gonna use a sh uh a stone of Fermal Ice soon anyway. Grab this lever, drop down here, I wait a tad and then just roll to this one. Here's where I use the thing. Then Soul Ray this mofo. Grab his drop. You actually do need this drop. And I guess you have to pray that you get it. Because getting it back up is not easy. And really out of the way. And probably not ideal. But yeah. Um, I guess pray you get it. <laughs> as bad as that sounds. I, I can explain how, how you could back up in a second. But here for now. Uh, use a couple Storm Souls. Uh, rearrange your... After you get the Colors Demon Soul, only after you get the Colors Demon Soul from the Primeval Demon, rearrange your souls and have Storm King at the bottom. Storm Soul at the bottom. And then use a couple of them. Uh, I think in the notes it like, says like two. Yeah, at least two. But you can do more. Um, then come this way. You saw right here on these pots. Mine just kills a bunch of these enemies. I would recommend killing these dogs too, or like these enemies on the way. Because you're going to have to go around again. Yeah, just like kill these guys. Then go this way. Go the, to the left. 
here, make sure you're on the plank that's like there, that's not gonna fall off. Uh, grab this lever, do a roll. And the idea is to like have an R1 queued as you are in the cutscene. Uh, kill to kill the bad guy. Get that, it should have shards and chunks of clear stone, I believe. Let's double check, whoops. Yeah, I think it's a chunk as well. So yeah, you get shards and chunks there. Um. Uh, just checking to see. Okay. Yeah, and then go back up to the fog gate. Um. I, okay. So what I was gonna say, I guess for the colors demon soul, what you could do is go kill the one in four two by the pure uh, black bladestone thingy farm skeleton. But you would need to throw yourself off again to get yourself back to pure black is the issue. So maybe maybe that's what you could do, I guess. And uh because you're gonna need it in pure black for later. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, grab that, shard of meltstone. Uh right here. Where is it? Right there. Grab this one, you're actually going to need it, believe it or not. For later. Mm, then you're going to activate the shortcut because you are going to need Ed, Blacksmith Ed, to do some stuff later, of course. See, so yeah, I would grab that. Um, after that, use Waterville and heal. Uh, it doesn't matter when, I guess. Uh, I would just do it right after this, because why not? Yeah, use Water Veil, and then heal. Either or, doesn't matter the order, because it should last long enough anyway. And what you're going to do is a fancy little skip where you go over the lava. I don't know if, I don't know how many people have realized about this, because it is somewhat of a interesting skip that you don't always see. But yeah, you, you do this. You will take damage still, but because of your health, it should be enough. Just make sure to practice that a little bit. If you have lower health, it's much harder, but yeah, the water actually helps you get by there. Um, and then here you can just sort of buy these guys. If you want, I guess you could try to set up clever out in range. I haven't tried. I probably would. We'll start doing it for optimizing soon, but um, no need really for safety. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Okay, and now you're gonna pick up this Chris blade that's gonna be very crucial for your run. You also need it for like the for the trophies, but you actually want it. Go pick up this spider stone here in the corner. This is like the one item that always loots me for some reason. <laughs> Or one of them. Um, equip the crest blade. I would recommend on the other slot besides fashion. Heal, maybe if you need to. Uh, and then here, just sp spam a bunch of Storm King souls. As you go down, two or three or whatever. Um, go through with this boss. It should only take. Oh wait, is it only one? It might only be one actually because you're like really OP. Okay, no, not one. But if you were clever right, yeah, it would definitely be a one shot. Okay. And then grab this chunk of spider stone in the corner. I would recommend doing it now because, like, oh, the death screen, but I guess I figured out that you can just spam X, but yeah, whatever. Uh, and then grab this arch stone for the spider soul and the pier. Um, kill the miner right here with the bag. He has the chunks and large shards of hearthstone and i think sharpstone as well i think both oh both yeah i think it should be both yeah if you are in 30 fps or console you could do that like wonky like run off the ledge that like lands you and like this like here you can do like around here that let's see in the platform but it's very risky i would maybe not even do it if unless you know how to do it really well consistently but yeah now what you want to do after that is pick up the ring of plague resistance i believe it's called or disease resistance. It's like down here. Don't don't go where Riddell is quite yet because it's a little bit higher than that. So you might actually need to go back. Ring of resistance. Okay. So ring of disease resistance. 
One thing I just remember that you need to, I need to point out is that before you kill Lord Riddell here and pure or not uh, Riddell, Skurver, Skurver, sorry, sorry, that's another guy. Before you kill Skurver, do not go back to the Nexus. Do not do an Nexia Bind or Arch Shore or Archstone because it will, it will despawn this guy. And because you're actually like after the armor spider, you will have a higher tendency than pure black or, or black, whatever it is. Um, so do not work back to the nexus before this guy. If you like happen to forget the disease ring, maybe just kill you. Yeah, I think you can handle one death, maybe. Yeah, I think you're okay with one. Uh, let me do the math real quick. Yeah, okay, you can afford one death, I'm pretty sure. Um, unless the math is wrong. Um, but yeah, so... Oh, actually, I think I have died once, and I was fine. Yeah, okay. So anyway, so yeah, don't war back before you kill this guy. So, if you miss the range resistance because you were jumping down the wrong planks or something, like, just jump off and die instead of doing that. It'll still be bad, but not as bad as warping back. Okay. Now... Um, I would make sure you're topped off and like have full spice ready. This enemy is very rush, uh, very rough. Have Chris played out as well. Yeah, as you can see, that one spell does a lot of damage. Uh, Sword mains help you like distract. I would rec I'll throw like a sword main after your second spell, like rinse, rinse repeat kind of thing. Here I did something incredibly stupid. I backstab him and have him like tank that. Or like like avoid that with iframes and then he like starts to heal or some shit. I should have done does just done this over and over, but I was like, nah, I'll, I'll like hit him and then use homie Solero. <laughs> and so he heals <laughs> It was just terrible. It was a terrible segment for me. So I was just you know what? Fuck it. Let's just reset this encounter. <laughs> um I used too many slow masses, but I, I think it's fine. Also remains, but whatever. See, I'm just wasting a bunch of everything. Ter it's terrible. I've had much better fights than this. Yeah, so that should be it there. Yeah. Uh, so the reason I said earlier they need 18 faith is because you do want to equip this Talon of Beasts right now. Right now. And yeah, you, don't, you need 18 faith. So. I mean, I guess you don't need to, but it's just handy. To, to have him by now. Yeah, so keep dropping. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything in my notes. Oh, you could use Storm Stoss while, while you die, while, while uh, Scurver's dying, I guess. That's something I I don't think I usually do, but you can. Okay, and now here, uh, I don't, if you haven't had used Steve Ring yet, or have it, have it on yet, put it on. What you can do is, um, Go around here. If you want, you can pick up that item right there. Uh, it's a chunk of uh, Dragonstone. I'll pick it up later. But you could do that. But I usually just kill him first and maybe drag him close to like this segment. He gives you about RNG hits. I have to reuse Spice. There he goes. Okay, so now I'll pick it up personally. Like you can definitely do it before if you want to, but I should do it as he if he's, as he dies. But then now you pick up this and you actually work back because you, you weren't still like your war hasn't reset yet. Hence, uh, Scurver being there and pure black. So your world is technically pure black, but you do need to reset it for it to like count that you're not pure black anymore. So that's what that's why you abuse that kind of. Um, yeah, so reset the world now, it should be in pure white or at least white. Wait, what are you on? Okay, let me see. Without deaths, let me see where you're at. I'm just the magic. Or the, I think I just read the word magic. Uh, the math. Okay, so you should be back in neutral. Plus one after... After that, plus one. Okay, so you might just be in white. But yeah, as we said, that should be enough. Oh! Wait, maybe you can't afford a death here because... Like, you would have to fight Dragon God to get it to pure white again. And I don't think you can do the pure white attendancy after 
you kill Dragon God. I could be wrong about that, but I feel like um I feel like killing Dragon God and then getting pure white doesn't let you have the Dragon Bone Smasher. Or maybe what you can do is cut, talk to the pure white Scarver. Ooh, okay. I'm not sure about that. I think I feel like I've died once and still been okay. So you might be okay, but ugh. It, it's very it's very risky. I I would be careful. <laughs> I suppose. Anyway, so yeah. Now you go to Dragon God. Uh, if you're in pre white, you should be able to get the Dragon Bone Smasher right now to the left. He's definitely gonna punch, so what you could do is like just pop like a random like Storm King Soul. If you want. I decided to just go here, go further, and then like use a heal, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you triple Lista. If you wanna see how to fight this boss, you can just check my um tutorial. Oh, he uses battery injury and doesn't like, like flinch a few times, but it's fine. I could probably tank one of his fire breaths anyway, but I peach here. Yeah, do a heal to reset his aggro. Go forth. Second ballista. And then pick up the message ring. As per the ring trophy. And then all I have to do here is use a homing soul arrow and he'll die. It doesn't matter if you have crisp blade or not, but I usually have it, just because why not? Oh yeah, and then I would use uh two Storm King Souls here while you wait for him to die. You should have just enough time to pop two and then just grab the archstone. And go back. Alright, I just took a small break, or actually it wasn't that small, but I mean, for you guys it'll be no time at all passed, so. Okay, where do we leave off? To do. Pass Dragon God, okay. Pretty sure I covered it there. Alright, cool. Alright, after this, uh, you're gonna quickly level uh, Vit to 30 and Faith to 30 as well. And then the rest is gonna go to Endurance. This would have normally gone into into um luck like the rest part um but as i said like my routing is making it so you actually do um you know the luck after the pure blade stone so we are going to do luck later on but not yet nice little sunlight okay now you're actually just going to go drop down to scurver and show him the dragon bone smasher because that's part of his quest line you have to show it to him and he's going to give you the pure uh, clear stone, I believe. And then after you can just throw yourself off. You don't need to do anything else. Uh, oh, hold my headphones. I forgot my headphones. Damn it. Wait. Not that I need them, but might as well. But yeah, so what I do is I just like drop down and replace the the crisp blade because it's like right there. It's like right under, right under it. Okay, so talk to him twice, and then he can just like, I'll do a cool little spinner here, watch! <laughs> I do a little cool trick, and then I just fall off, because it doesn't matter, intensity doesn't matter anymore. Um, faster probably than next seal binding, because you have to walk back to, um... Or maybe, maybe not, it's not faster, but who knows, I don't know. You have to warp and stuff as well, I guess. Yeah, now you're going to... Oh yeah, you're going to pick up a shard of Greystone and chunk of Greystone. All this pathing, there's a lot of like running around here. Or not a lot, but you know, this is a big area. As I'm sure you've noticed if you play this. A lot of intended paths that you don't take with uh, like... Um, with... Uh, if you're to do the drop for Flamemaker. But yeah, so right here, drop in the corner. I think I just remembered I need to, like, drop uh, the, the stones, because I'm going to be heavy here soon. Yeah, that's, a, that's a shard. As I drop, I just drop these items as well. Yeah, 30 is fair. Uh, and then chuck a Greystone. Drop down here. 
uh, you're going to kill this uh, bear bug, which, watch what happens here. I've never seen this before. It actually flip over, but me, because it's like a quest related one, he like flipped back down. I don't know. Yeah, so you know, my friend, to explode because you're gonna need. You're actually gonna need his um, his shard of dragonstone. We haven't got one yet. You're also gonna get this ring of flame resistance and the club down here. Uh, the uh, the efficient the, the the thing you can do as well is like knock him like to the lower floor, and then you can at least get the ring. But you start to wait for him to explode anyway. It would just be a small time save, I guess. Do something as you uh, wait for him to explode. Yeah, now run. This way. Make sure to follow this path again, I guess, if you don't know this area very well. Like, I don't, but I somehow actually ended up figuring out how to get through here pretty quickly, remembering. And then all you need now... Yeah, it's a pure heartstone and pure sharp stone. Which is right here. Go to the left. Watch out here on your footing. Like if you, if you like roll off, you can just like fall down. So just if you don't want, be careful. Be careful there. Then shard watch stone back. Cool. All right. Now this is gonna be a little bit of a long segment. A lot of a lot of uh, duping and stuff is gonna happen. Not not a lot to talk about. I would say as far as that. Let's see. Oh yeah. If you, if the main is right there, I would push her. She's really annoying. This is the way I freaking do it. There you go, so dupe all your shards and chunks, and large shards, and everything you have. Uh, at some point, you can also store the pure stones. You also need to dupe the Colorless Demon Soul, the Dragon Demon Soul, Red Hot Demon Soul, and Hearts Demon Soul, which is the Primeval Demon, the Dragon God, I assume, yeah, uh, Flame Lurker, and Spider. I would skip this because like it's that's all you do. All, that's all you need to do to dupe all this. But man, I mean I don't know. I would prefer just showing everything. I mean worst case you can definitely like just look at my PB like straight if you want. But yeah, or like anyone's PB. But yeah, all the pures drop them or store them. Yeah. Uh, also you can store like the Dragon Ball Smasher, but just make sure to keep the. Yeah, I guess just just store that. I guess. Everything else we should have already stored, which you don't need. Um, see, is there anything I should mention? Oh, uh, in this segment, you are going to upgrade the Moon Short Sword to plus five. But if you hadn't had, um, have that drop i mean you would just have to hold on for longer you could do two plus four and then just plus five it later like it would be very small differences in route you know that kind of thing so um it's not a much big deal but yeah just to note that uh if depending on when you get the item drop it'll be a little slight difference in route but it's very minimal oh just that you just had to make sure that you do it in the beginning to plus five I think we're almost done here, though. Where are we? Are we? Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. Grandstone. <laughs> Mess up. Of course I did. Okay, and then it's Greystone. Yeah, I think I usually end with Greystone or Dragonstone. Just going like up and down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and then just take the. Oh, yeah, take the Colorless Demon Soul. And I think the Dragon Soul. I don't remember why I had to take Dragon Sword actually. Yeah, I actually don't remember, to be honest. I need to verify that's even necessary. Maybe you don't need to. Oh, yeah, so, um...
Oh, yeah, I would pop one of the Storm King souls because you're gonna need a bunch of souls here soon. Uh, buy a dagger, short sword, and battle axe. This is why I said earlier you can just keep on one of the things, but I mean, it's kind of like a negligible difference to like just buy later. Talk to her because of the 30 faith, you should be able to get her uh, pure faint stone, I believe it is. Yeah, pure faint stone, and something else. I think it's a star and ephemeralize. Uh, learn all the miracles from this guy. Uh, you can get so far, definitely not all of them. You still need to come back later. But it's a good, like, thing you can do meanwhile. Uh, get second chance. Uh, that's kind of a peach, I guess. You guys don't have to, but it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat to have, especially if you're going to do clever at right later. Uh, but yeah, and then go to 2 1. You may need to pop like two more Storm King souls here, I think. At least one for sure, but I think two. Like, I think you have to do two. Uh, put on the Herculean Strength Ring here, because you're going to need a lot of inventory space. Buy as many Hearthstone as you can. That should be 99 total. Drop down. See, I'm pretty sure I need more souls now. I don't know why that's saying that in my notes. I'm going to need to add that. Talk to this guy three times. After the third dialogue, he will, uh, you can leave the dialogue window and then go back in. You will ask for your red hot demon soul. Then, okay. And then now you can do like a lot of the weapon, special weapon upgrade. All right. First off, dagger plus 10. That's going to give you, I believe, just like the um, sharp achievement. Yeah, sharpness. Then you got the short sword, that's going to give you the heartstone one. Toughness, I think it's called, or something like that. Hardness, that's what it was. Okay. Uh, now you're going to melt it. So one of the ways in which you're going to optimize the way you um, do weapon upgrades is by melting the same weapon you have and reusing that. Because after you get the trophy, you don't need the plus 10 like, weapon, right? Uh, as you can see there, so you're going to recycle this weapon into a boss weapon. You're going to make the Morion Blade. So that's the idea behind like, all of this. That plus one Moon Sword Sword, you're going to turn to plus five. If you can, if you don't have the Pyramid Light Sword, just keep it at plus four. Chris Blade. You're gonna upgrade that. That should be like its own upgrade. See, I need another soul. Definitely need to pop twice here. You should definitely note that somewhere. Yeah, Chris Blade, plus five. I think that's its own trophy as well. Oh, no, maybe not. All right, Scimitar, plus eight, I believe. Yeah, because this is the sharp one. I already have that. It doesn't matter. Wait, do you need a dagger then? Can you just upgrade this? Uh oh. And then turn that into large sort of searching. That's for the trophy and for farming later. Uh, skip a few things. Go to the crushing battle axe, or go to the battle axe, then make it crushing right away. Then make it to plus five. Melt it. Go regular battle axe rod to plus six. And then make it the dozer axe. And then. Club into Meat Cleaver, Wooden Catalyst, and Sanity Catalyst, and then GTFL. That's a big time save, Jesus. Um, yeah, so that's what you do there. Uh, make sure not to, like, revert any of the boss weapons back. Because those you definitely need to keep, unlike the other ones. Oh, wait, no, that was a fake time save, because I forgot. I wasn't done. <laughs> now you gotta store a bunch of things, so you can be unburdened, and you can take off the things. So, store everything except for... Well, if you if you didn't finish the plus five moon, light, moon short, sword sword, keep it in your inventory. If not, store it. Um, store all the boss weapons except for large sword of searching. Uh, maybe boring blade if you really want. That might be an option. Uh, Crescent Faustian and Uchi. Keep those. And then if you have any armor, I guess you can store that too. I usually check. Just make sure. Um, now talk to Frake. Learn the fireball. Ah, wait. Okay, so you get the dragon soul for like... Fireball? But you already have that, don't you? In the inventory? That's weird. I, you may need to not take the fireball. Or let the dragon soul later. That's just uh, something. I don't know. Yeah, so 
like I said earlier, um, I mean, I guess you could maybe like buy them here, like the spells you're gonna get later. I was gonna do it later because you actually like warp back later, whatever. I feel this is more consistent, but yeah, so yeah, just get fireball is the main thing. And then remove Water Veil and memorize Fireball. Equip the Thief Ring as you go to 4-2. And there's the infamous Pure Bladestone farm. So, which for me is not that bad, you'll see. It's pretty poggers, not gonna lie. Yeah, so take out Chris Blade, um, half Thief Ring and the Ring of Magical Sharpness on. Uh, you can be half health, doesn't really matter. Then go to the Fogget here, one of the only Foggets in the game. And then Fireball, this guy. So yeah, what you need to do here is not only farm the Pure Bladestone, but you also need the um, Shard of Art Bladestone and the Chunk. So make sure to get those two. Like if you happen to have the one in a million chance, no, I mean one in a million, it's actually not that bad. Uh, one in however many uh, chance to get a Bladestone first try, don't warp out yet, get a shard and a chunk as well. All right, so you do that. Um, I believe I get it in four minutes <laughs> in this run, spoilers, but uh, yeah, here, and I get the shard here, so uh, I just not, now I just need the pure blade sun, pretty much. Um, but yeah, so this is, you know, this is the one part that a lot of people dread for sure. Um, it is, I would say not as bad, well... I mean, it's all luck, right? Like, it could take f several hours. I farmed for it for like an hour and a half and didn't get one. I farmed it for four minutes and got one. Um, this is one of the reasons why I would suggest you like do this farm like online. If you have a decently active chat, like it, it's a little detaining to have them on to detain you, just chat with them kind of thing. It's definitely not as mindless as like farming offline for it if it takes a long time. So, but it's not as bad as you think, to be honest. Um, I, I have a feeling that one of the reasons why a lot of people get fucked by trying to farm this casually is because they level luck. Like I was saying earlier, having higher luck actually makes this worse. I should have base luck for this class, which is 12, I believe, or 11. Um, and like, after, especially after this run, I was very convinced. Like I did a few like runs with both types of luck, like base and like, like 18, 19 luck leveled up. And I definitely seem to feel like the pure or the higher drops, like chunks and even the pure, would be a little bit faster if, um, if, uh, I was at lower luck. So that kind of helped. Like, if you charted it out, like, it seemed like a lot of the stuff was more consistent. It was the rare drop. Um, so. Yeah, uh, I would recommend doing this. This I would say this run is more like safe. Like there's a lot less chance for you to get screwed over. Like even for the drops you can miss, like the pure moonlight stone and the pure dark moon stone. Like uh, that's why I like this run a lot. It's safer. It will still be long, and it takes you a while to like. It, it takes a little bit less time to get into the pure blade stone rod, I guess. So you can get get that out of the way as soon as possible. Like the the reason you you for forego the pure blade stuff for such a long time is so that you have a one shot for it like for example you just got fireball you just upgraded your chris blade to plus five um you have all your levels now for magic and all that and faith even um that's why you do all that before the pure blade blade stone because if you really want to be like efficient and not worry about luck and just yolo it you could just go straight into um into uh farming this like as soon as you can as, as soon as you get pure black in this world you could do that 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 might be a strat to do later like not worry so much about like setting a fireball and all that but um but yeah so this is why you do all that first and then come farm this like an hour in so. 
Or I, I think I get it in this attempt. Because it was like 4 minutes and 20 seconds. But yeah, I mean, if you still want to, if you still believe luck helps, you, you're free to use like Silico's route, use that as a reference. Like I said, this is basically identical. All I did was switch around some of the positionings. You would actually do the pure dark moonstone before this, which I'll do shortly as well, but there it is. Four minutes at 12 luck, which doesn't necessarily mean that it's, um, you know, always that it is still luck. You can't depend on it, but it'll, it worked out. But yeah, so, uh, oh, here, just as a little teaser, I'll let you hear my reaction. I guess, because <laughs> it, it's rare to get these, so. I'm sure there's more to that, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, so the, the way I rewrite of this. Oh, also, oh, I forgot, I forgot to mention. Oops. I forgot to mention, um, what I've been doing, uh, for the reroute, what you could do as well is pick up your bloodstain every time. So if you, I don't know if you noticed that, but like, I actually do pick up my bloodstain every time I, I, I run by here. And that is so whenever I do end up loving luck, like that just that should mean that the more I die or the more attempts I have for this enemy and the more souls I gain from him, assuming I don't forget the stain, that means that I'll have even more levels for luck later on. It's not a lot, you won't get a lot of levels. Like I think I think after an hour I've got like two levels <laughs> extra. But hey, like you know, it's just for more consistently later on for like the dark moon stuff and all that. Anyway, so um now we're going to do this level first to be able to get more souls, or this whole world to get more souls to be able to um, live up luck after this. So that's why I'm doing this first. So hopefully, like, try not to lose your staying in this level as well, or this, like, gauntlet of areas. All right, so yeah, immediately after Peel Blade's done, go to one, two. You will need to pick up the Wing Spear in this bridge, this first part of the bridge where the dragon is, you should be okay. I don't think you'll get roasted. Let's see. Yeah, you have, I think you have plenty of time. So yeah, it's this one next to the car, uh, carriage. And then go down here. Um, you're gonna pick up the, the ring of gas resistance on the way here. Uh, you also need to kill enemies here to free Ostrava. You can skip this one right there to the left. That one doesn't count for some reason. I guess it's just it's all the soldiers, not the dragons. So yeah, kill these soldier guys with the cross with the crossbows, I guess. Those do count for harassing Ostrava. Then you talk to him, he's gonna give you like a darkman grass. Not what you need, but it's nice. Uh, and then I think I forgot to get the grass resistance, so I just pick it up there. Just make sure I get it on either way. This is one. Um, yeah, go forward. So keep going past the skate. You're gonna keep taking the bottom route if you can tell. Um, I guess you technically don't need to, but it's probably safer, I would say, or faster and all that, because like you don't got the dragon cycle to worry about. I don't know. I could, I could probably take it, leave it. I don't know. But you go back up. Uh, you're gonna go on top of this tower right here after the sec uh, after the f second bridge, yeah, second dragon cycle. You're gonna pick up this bow right here. You're gonna need that later for um for the spider upgrade path. Go here. I would recommend here. Listen to the dragon. Wait, why her? If you listen to the dragon, um. Fin let the dragon finish the roar, that way you can know that you're not going to get roasted in this next running bit. So yeah, get past the gate now. If you don't have Thief Ring, I would recommend putting it on, but I think you should just have it on. And then, yeah, there's no more pickups, I think. Okay, yeah, just skip all these guys. If you want to be safe, maybe use a Stun of Emeralize. I'm fine. This, this level's not too hard. Pull out Homie Soul Arrow and your thingy thing. And then here, uh, have Chris Blade out as well. Sharpest ring. Lock onto the foot. Believe it or not, actually kind of helps. 
As long as you're behind him, and that goes straight into the body. It's not gonna go to the foot. Don't worry. Okay, then grab this. Oh, I guess if you want to forgo that animation, you can... Yeah. But yeah, so grab the archstone. Uh, not only for the soul, but also you need to, so to make that foggy go away. Now, um... Oh, <laughs> I just remembered something I did in this area. That was bad. I'll definitely plan it out, though. Um... Did I quit out here? Yeah, I think I yeah I reloaded here because I wasn't using uh, second chance. If I put on second chance, I won't reload here. Um, I usually do just for safety, but I didn't. By the way, if you can tell from my best possible time right now, I'm technically sub silico right now with the console route. This would have been the fastest uh, all trophies run period. So this is why I like I'm definitely gonna <laughs> I was definitely gonna make a guy out of this video. And like, you know, I can definitely still prove a lot, but as you can see with my time, maybe you saw earlier, like with my title, it's definitely not going to be sub silico. Not yet. Unfortunately, I have to get better luck, but yeah. Um, I mean, you can, there's a few things I've done there. You can just kind of watch. There's no like pickups so far yet. So, oh yeah, but uh, I would recommend doing a reload here if you don't want to get like hit by the crossbow guys. Reload right there, up there on top of the... Um, the stairs so you can hit this guy only and like not have everyone hit you pick up his keys and then go you do need that obviously if you know this game and then go up here um and then right here between the this knight and the archers go here to the left Drop down, kill this guy, and pick up his hat. I didn't pick up his hat, as you can see. I don't know what came over me. I was probably still excited from the pure blade stun and fucked up. Pick up his hat right there. Right there. Pick it up. If you don't, it's okay, but do it. <laughs> don't, don't be an idiot like me. Yeah, and then kill all these enemies, because Ostrava is getting scared by them. Of course he is. Okay, and then go talk to him real quick. He's gonna give you the pure clear stone. Oh, okay. Scarver gives you the pure gray stone. That's what it was. Okay, I was like, wait, I was like, I thought we already said we got that. Okay, so now put on the uh, clever rat ring because you're gonna need it for uh, penetrator. You may need to take a small amount of damage to, to set up clever if you haven't already. Oh, that was perfect. Wow. I don't think I intended to do that there. Oh wait, no, no, no. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm an I'm an idiot. Don't don't take off the ring yet, or whatever. Yeah, don't don't switch rings yet. If if you're not a clever at like, you can fix it later. But those switch rings. No, keep thief's rings on here. I was following notes here. I bet I probably you probably don't even need clever at, and that's why I was like, oh yeah, let's let's go. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you don't need Clever Rat. Actually, forget... Fuck, fuck what I said earlier. Don't... Don't don't put on Clever Rat. Just be frank, keep going with it. If you want, you can go into Clever Range, but don't take off the ring yet, and then go here. You, you only need this to, like, two-shot him, so... And then my dumbass did this, and since I lost second chance... <laughs> yeah. Follow the notes. This is the biggest takeaway from this run and the one, the last run I had with a really solid drop. I think it was seven minutes for Peel Bladestone. After I got that drop, I messed up a few things. And it was because I didn't follow my notes. So it hurt a lot because it was my fault for not paying attention or not realizing why things go like they, like they do. So yeah, uh, in this route especially, follow your notes. It's one of the biggest advice I can give. <laughs> 
because sometimes you will like do something and you're like oh wait that's why that's why i did this or like you won't do something that says you know so it's like oh that's why i'll give another example that screwed me over really hard um when i get to that but for now yeah just like i said follow your notes just use steve frank here it's not it's not it's, it's fine i'm not gonna die because you don't you know you don't even need clever eye you can two shot him without clever eye in range like i might do clever eye but after optimize for optimizing you know you don't need to do it <laughs> so yeah with how with how much time i had to save for sub silico i should have just like been safe instead of trying to push the run further Anyway, so yeah, that's, that was my little rant. Now, go back to this guy. You only need to... Pick up the soul stand, by the way, if you die. Oh, also, you can afford a couple of deaths here, I think, because how, how many bosses there are. Um, maybe as I ride the elevator up to Elant, I'll, tell you, I'll make the math. I'll do the mental math and see. How many deaths you can afford, but it should be okay. Yeah, touches Archstone, of course. Um, set up Clever Iron Range. You do have to set it up here if you haven't. Like, if you still have it, then go for it. I'll keep it. Just put on Thief Ring. Or, or put up Clever at. If you haven't already. Be careful to not die, I guess. Um, wow, really? I was like, fuck you. <laughs> um... Yeah, so draw one of these guys. I would have so many uh, soul arrow or soul remains ready here. We do need to kill all these guys and pick up their loot. They're all like special items. Uh, I would use soul remains for the archer. Like, it doesn't matter who we kill first, the uh, shield or the archer person. I'll probably kill the shield one. Uh, no, no, I'll kill the archer first, I think, if I'm me, because. They definitely are dangerous with their, with their bow and stuff. Yeah, now pick up all the items. Um, if you need to, put on the item burden ring. But if you if you've dropped everything you need, don't need in the box, you should be okay. Yeah, tar is gonna be a pain in the butt. So yeah, that's what I'm saying that for. Now put on thief ring here. You're definitely gonna need it then, for safety. If you need to cast second chance as well, second chance is totally optional. But if you see me cast it, it's because I don't feel comfortable doing it. So maybe you should. Maybe you should even know I don't use it. Who knows? Up to you. Um, I haven't read my notes in a while. Let me check out if I missed anything. Mm, nope. I think we're all good. Yeah, just just run pa just run, pa blah, blah, blah. run past this dragon, as you do. <laughs> if you don't know how, um, maybe check my commentary for the melee route. I think that explains it fairly well. I don't have a tutorial for it because I already had it explained fairly well in that. I think. Um, but yeah, now put on the clever rat ring back on. I think I forgot to for a second. Have the Chris laid out, magic sharpness, everything. Uh, to kill this dragon, because it is a trophy, and you do need a swap, I believe, as well. Just kill him. You probably need a salt spice if you haven't topped off already. Or even if you have, you, you still need it. Um, yeah, it takes a little while, but you'll get it. If you can't switch it back because you need the the um the inventory ring, maybe just drop a few things. Uh, I talked to Strava there after you just kill the dragon. Get the mausoleum key, you get the dragon soul shortly. Uh oh yeah, you do actually have to kill Ostrava here. You can't just like run past him, so you do that. Hopefully he won't block you. Uh, pick up his rune equipment. I guess elevator is not a good time to drop anything if we need to. What I would drop if I were you is just like upgrade material that you you 
Like, if you already duped it, especially, you should be okay. Yeah, so now just pop Storm King Souls all the way up to the elevator. Now, let me check the pure tendency. Okay, let's see. So you start on neutral. Phalanx should be a plus one. Tower should be a plus one. Um, what's his face? Penetrator should be a plus one. So that's already pure white right there. And then Alon should be another plus one. So you should be even, you should be like two above what you need. Because if you die once, they'll put you at, at oh no, wait, no. Well, well, that you can't go higher than pure white, so you'll just cap at plus three, right? So, as long as you... Okay. Let me just quickly run this down for you. If you have killed Penetrator, if, or if you... If you um, okay. Before Old King Alant, or False King Alant, you can die twice. Well, if you already kill him... Yeah, yeah, okay, you can die twice. You can just straight up die twice, because, like, okay, say... Say you die twice... At Tower Knight. With... Body form. You'll be at negative one. Then... Tower Knight will bring you to three. Finish will bring you to two. And King Alon will bring you to one. Or three. Uh, plus two, which is just white. It wouldn't be pure white, but it would be white. Um, but like, you definitely don't want to die after that, I guess, in, in uh, form body form. But it should be okay after that. So yeah, okay, you can afford two deaths in this level. It seems like if you were to like die after old king, that would be screwed. But no, you're good. I'm pretty sure. I think that Matt's had that up. I'll still just die, die as much as possible, but yeah. Anyway, so it should be Clever Rat, I think. Or actually, if you don't want to, you could just forego Clever Rat you don't, if you want to be safe. But you do have second chance, and you three-shot this guy with uh, Clever Rat and all the strats, so I would I'd personally go for it. He's he's scary, but it's definitely not as bad as uh, like any other thing else, any other route. So yeah. Go grab his soul, of course. I'm going to see how to actually fight them. If you want to check how or want to learn how, just check my tutorial. Okay, here's what I did up here in my light. So what we're going to do now is level... Or wait, are we? Oh, okay, yes. Okay, first thing we're going to do is dupe all the souls we just got. So that's going to be the large flame scale dragon demon soul or whatever. That's going to be the, the, the Dargan, of course. The false demon soul, false king demon soul, which is a lot. The silver, which should be penetrator, and iron, which should be tower knight. You should have already duped the iron one, which is phalanx or whatever. Or no, lead, lead, lead. That's what it was. Lead demon soul, or lead? Was it lead or lead? <laughs> it's confusing because like lead, like the a phalanx, I believe is like. The... Oh no, no, it can't be lead. No, I was thinking of vanguard of, of the vanguard. Like, in, as far as, like, troops is concerned. So, it should be lead, I guess, because they are going for the, the mineral. Weird. Anyway, so, uh, store, rune sword, penetrating sword. Keep the... Keep all those. The white boy you can put away, too. I think I kept it. You could store pures as well. I don't think you need to, though. Uh, and But, yeah, keep the moon short sword if you need to. The large sword of searching, falchion, uchi, spear, and bow. The, the short bow. Comp composite short bow. Um, and then after that, if you haven't leveled up to tw 20 endurance, I would. And then the rest goes into luck. So how much of the luck did I get there? Twenty. Nice. Not bad. You could definitely go to like 20, 28 or something I think I've seen. Equip the large sword of searching instead of the crescent falchion. Uh, I think I would also equip the Thief Ring. But first, go to... 3-2. Uh, and this is what I uh, rearranged from before, where I was talking about. You actually, after you, you equip this ring, and then throw yourself off seven times. Because you are in pure white, I'm pretty sure. 
I mean, maybe if you like died once, you might not be in pure white. So I guess you don't need to die that many times. If so, I mean, that time loss is already uh, sunk. So you could just forego that last death. J just check your table, I guess, your tendency table, if you want to make sure that you are in pure black. So yeah, seven times. Uh, there's no souls you need to pick up. Just do it over and over. Um, one easy way to keep track of how many deaths you have in case you lose count is just see how many stones you started with and subtract six. Uh, because the first death you should already be human. Oh. So the seventh one doesn't count. So... Oh my god. So the issue that was causing my encoding uh, issues for OBS was that um, I had just gotten a new hard drive, a one terabyte hard drive, and I put it into my PC, right? And I was like, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll um, I'll make it so all my local recordings, which is all my streams, I locally record all my streams, even not runs, is uh, what I'll do is I'll... I'll... Um, make it so that all my streams go directly to my hard drive. But my hard drive... First of all, OBS is probably installed in my SSD. And second of all, the hard drive probably has less like speed for this kind of thing. So like that that was definitely messing with my coding. Having like my SSD, my OBS running an SSD and probably saving to the hard drive was being bad on my encoding. <laughs> that was my bad. Thank Ash for pointing that out. She was the one that gave me that tip. It's like, wait, did you put it to record in there? Because you shouldn't. <laughs> oh, um, by the way, um, so after this. After you do this, what you would normally do if you haven't done pure Moonlight Farm is go to uh, the Old Monk Archstone, the one after he dies, and farm that last lizard there. Hold on, I can actually show you how I do that, I guess. Okay, what I'm showing you now is an old PV. I think it's the one right before this one. It took me a long time to PV again, like a month, I think. Um, so this is how I used to do it in the old route. It was like um, after the the release of Lord Riddell, you do this um, where you just die. Okay, so after you do all of that, I'll touch the archstone and go back because it'll put you right in front of this one. And then you go to old monk. There you go, old monk. Uh, if you don't, yeah, you're not gonna have fire toss anymore. Have fireball out. That works just as well. Maybe Chris played as well. And then it, it should one shot. I think again. So yeah, do this. If you if you're doing dolra, maybe just roll this gun and then that. Do that. Uh, if you didn't get it, touch the touch the archstone. Although if you do my new route, I would maybe like still touch it anyway because um, you do need to go back to uh, tower lodge after this. Yeah, do that until you get it. Pray that you get it, I guess, as well. Oh, did I die here? Oh, I did die. Oops. That was one rip, uh, one of my attempts ripped, so I had to get lucky here. Ooh, and I did. Nice. Okay, so that's what you do. And then touch the archstone, or I guess, I guess if you're doing the old route, you would just shard. I would touch it now, though. All right, back to my actual PB. Uh, so after you do that, touch the archstone if you ha if you didn't need to. Uh, don't shard. And go back to three one. And now you're gonna go to pure black Lord Riddell. So that's why I do this after. I know you touch the archstone again. Um. So if you are in thirty FPS or console, this is the time you actually would do Lotra skip. If you need to learn how to do that, I have a video on it. I'll link it, of course. Um, but I mean, I'm not. I'm gonna have to teach you how to do it now. So I'm trying to say, if you don't know where it's at, though, like where you do that, it's right here, just right there to the right. If you're in 60 FPS, you kind of have to go around, uh, just like the first time. It, it does save a considerable time save, like considerable amount of time for like an optimal run. It's like a minute or something, I would say. Because like, look, let's see. 
So let's say it takes like four seconds to do the skip, five seconds. Right now. So let's say now. Now see how long it takes us to get to get to where Dell is. So like at 01. 2601. Nice. Sun supplies this work. Okay, so you would you would land like right here somewhere. And you just get off. So yeah, it saves around 30 seconds, yeah. Maybe more, maybe like 40. If you want to be like I don't know, super like I don't know. Maybe like 40 tops. Oh, it hits me here, bastard. They didn't kill me. But yeah, so soul remains helps. Uh, you should probably do like two homie soul arrow and then the soul ring. That should be enough. Do pick up his stain or his uh, drop. I actually forgot this once. I just, I just started like my very first run in console like ages ago. Um, I definitely went back like a fool, but he th thankfully was still there. So. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, for the pure Moonlight Stone. I, I don't have it yet in like the old route, obviously, so, but do pull it out. Pull out the large, large, um, sort of, sort of searching, whatever it's called, for the Moonlight Stone. That helps with drops, for sure. And people like those too, that's why you actually do it. Oh, um, is this the first Black Phantomy fight? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, I think I'll explain it as you're fighting the next one, but... Yeah, just know that that's this you're fighting that guy for character tendency. Yeah, now pull out the large source searching if you haven't already. First place for damage, by the way, if you didn't know, Chris Blade increases your magic damage, so that's why you use it a lot. Um, and then the large source searching uh, increases luck, or like drop rates, rather. Uh, come here and pick up this chunk of Cloudstone. That should be like the last class I need. All this pathing have the. Sword out, like I said, and use fireball on these two. You're looking for, I think, also the chunk of dark moon stone, but yeah, also the pure moon dark moon stone. So you need both. Yeah, so farm until you get the pure moonlight stone, follow that, rinse, repeat. You have eight chances, so it's pretty new. And then get the storm ruler and get the fuck out. Okay, now I'll explain why you need to kill Black Phantoms just for, for this. Like, it's not... Like, this one you don't pick up any items. It's not for the item. It's because you need pure white character tendency for a ring from the Monumental. He gives you the Friends ring. Uh, so what you do in this run is, like, kill a bunch of these uh, Black Phantoms to get pure character tendency. Um, once you get the pure white, you're gonna go to talk to the Monumental and get the ring... Um, and you can't mess that up too so I'll definitely note you why but yeah so killing these uh, black phantom versions of characters who spawn only in pure black world tendency raises your character tendency which I know sounds really confusing like you have to be in pure black to spawn them but it raises your, your world tendency well your character but also world I found it raises both um, but yeah, so that's why you kill this. You don't even need to loot this guy. You can actually just get the hell out. I was, I would just say you make sure you get the souls to so make sure that. But yeah, look at the top left, by the way, right here. That should become a little brighter. I mean, you probably saw it right there. Okay, I took a quick question break. I'm back though. <laughs> I was feeling that for a couple segments there. All right now, okay, yeah, uh, maybe go human safety here i don't think you need to but it'd be nice to uh go to one one if you don't have it uh put on thief rank here it'd be handy go to the left here with the with the like little black phantoms and uh what's her face morala was it yeah the human version of her You actually don't need spawn these guys for something I'll explain in a second. But yeah, so... Here. 
you just like do this. She does like no damage, so you just do that. And then you can like oh wait, no, first you pick up this ring. I think it's a poison resistance ring. Wow, really at the lag right there. <laughs> Great. Well pick up the poison resistance ring. That's the poison resistance ring. Um And then what you're going to do is go human again. You're going to load all the red phantoms that spawned. The little draggling red phantoms. And you're going to suicide after you spawn them. For some reason, I guess it's tied to like just having like some red spirits in a world or something. I'm not sure. Like it, I think even in Illusory Walls, I don't know why. Um, but for some reason, like these guys actually make your tenancy go down faster. So after those two deaths, when these guys have spun the world, even if they don't follow you down or anything, uh, your tendency will drop all the way down to black, pure black, I assume. Even if they're, um, like, e even though you, uh, you only died twice. Like, you should be a pure white in the last one, or, like, maybe just white. But, turns out those put you down all the way to pure black. So I was saying, like, maybe killing one of the, the black phantoms actually turns your world down a little bit. It's a little weird, but yeah, trust me, it's it works. So yeah, now go up. Um, I would maybe recommend second chance or um, or going human for this segment. You're gonna go fight uh, Doran, old King Doran, and I mean he he's you know he's a little dangerous. <laughs> I'm totally not saying because I die here or anything. <laughs> I would never do that. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, go go uh go do that. Wow, oh, this guy. Um, you will have to like sh hit him first, so he will like acknowledge the whole like, oh, you're worth of using the demon branch or whatever. I would kill this enemy here. I think you could just sorry him, or I don't know. I think usually homing soul just in case, but yeah, pretty quickly. Muzzy key you got from Astrava, and then here just spawn. Solar, this should like one shot his like, yeah, like he's already thinks you're worthy just from the one hit. <laughs> what I would recommend doing here is sell me Soul Arrow. Maybe uh, pull up Spice and then Soul Ray. That should get him to trigger. And then maybe one more Soul Arrow, but get, for, get further away than me, please. This is not hard. You need like two homie Soul Masses and a Soul Arrow and you're done. Technically only two Soul Arrows, but I don't know. Maybe you just need to do two, I guess. Maybe you don't need to get that close. Yeah, so <laughs> small time loss there. So yeah, um, I mean, I'll just skip. You guys already know what happens. Oops, I'm missing with my document. Actually, I'll just play because I need to type something in my notes. I need to fix the whole. I need to add after um. Okay, or. For Baltaria, don't die more than twice. From this point onward, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, maybe in the first one I say that, I should clarify. Don't die more than once in human form. There you go. Alright, so there you go. Go back to this guy. See, it only takes like three, but I was a dummy. Yeah, so pick up this sword while he dies. Yeah, that, that alone should be a trophy, but you do need the ring he has. He has the stamina ring. The equivalent to Chloranthi ring, I suppose. Um, now we're gonna do, uh, even though it only says PB Meralda, you're actually gonna go real quick to the, uh, Valley Development. And you're gonna die four times, I believe. Yeah. Uh, while you do that, though, you're gonna drop armor. You're gonna drop the, the ones you just got, basically, from, um, uh, the king. You should be able to drop a bunch of them in, like, one round if you do it quickly enough. 
Again, like I was saying earlier, I didn't realize this until like the end of this run, but if you ma mash X after you do like a stone of Hermolai, or like after the revive thing, or demon destroyed, all that, you can actually just skip that. So I drop all those, they're just a burden. Uh, but yeah, died three times, or four times total. Two more from this. You're just doing this while you're here, since you work back anyway. You're gonna do Leech Monger after this, as you can see in the splits, so... <clears throat> yeah, one more. And you're done. <clears throat> it's with this bit. All right, now I'll go back. Uh, I think shard is just as fast because you're going back to one one, so. You can take the shard of Archstone if you want. Okay, go to 1 1. And you're gonna do the same thing you're doing for Meralda, but this time you're gonna look left, I guess, because you have a uh, pure black Meralda. She's on the other side. Uh, so for the other Meralda, you didn't need to loot. Um, you didn't need to loot her. But you do need to do that for. For. Um, for this one the other one just had the armor you don't there's no armor trophy so you don't need the armor but yeah you, you do need it for for this one because they dropped the weapon that's a special weapon which is a trophy yeah you'll need two homie some messes here here i have the pure white tendency or the pure the character tendency page up uh, for later but not yet yeah so pick up the axe and then shard of archstone and now you're done with the split now you're done. Okay. Now, as you, as we stated, you die four times in Leechmonger. Which do you need to die four times? Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. for pure black at least. Yeah, yeah. That, okay, I remember now. I remember the difference between pure black and pure black. Like for the differences and stuff. So in black tendency, you can spawn a. Colorless or, or uh, primeval demon, the the one you killed earlier for the colorless soul, but you can't spawn a black phantom. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like the um, like the character black phantoms, like like a uh, Riddell earlier. So that's why I need to go for pure whole black. I was gonna say maybe you can die three times, but no, you can't. Um, no wait, but no, no but. But then the Lord of Death thing, you only died three times there. <gasps> Maybe you don't need to die four times here. It's possible. I might test that, actually. Yeah, you may not need to die three times. You, you may only need to die three times. I'm not sure about that, but... um, If you want to be safe, just die four times. That should be plenty. If I can think of a reason as I go through here, maybe I will. Yeah, here for safety, I, I use both second chance and the stone. Maybe a little overkill, but why not? I think the stone might be overkill. Second chest, probably plenty, because I will revive anyway later. Yeah, so items you need here, you're gonna need the first one is gonna be the Ring of Magical Dullness, which is right here. And then you're gonna go down here. You are going to kill this lizard right here for the Shard of Faint Stone. And then I'll pull out the large shard of search here, kill this guy. And you want a shard of Maristone and a chunk of Maristone. The chunk is a bitch. Uh, so you're gonna might need to farm that. Oh yeah, get this blessed mace too near the the bug. I forget where they were, the tick. Um and then here go up by the widow's lotus here. I think the only time you can skip this Widow's Lotus is if you get the chunk from the other tick right away. Because, I mean, you need to come up here anyway to, to kill these guys, is the idea. Because you are in pure black world tendency right now, so this is probably the best way to farm this. Maybe that's why you go pure black. Maybe just to make sure you get the good RNG. Maybe you don't need to, but you could for, for luck. So I guess it's like a, like a safety strat, so I'm okay with that, I guess. 
Pull out the sword, the sword again. Use it for these guys. Pray for a chunk. I get a pure. I forgot about that. God damn it. And then here, um, so you you can farm the the chunk of Maristone later. But personally, I decided a thing too in a second to um to actually like go back and farm now because the chances of getting a chunk of Maristone from the text is higher in pure black. So basically, I did another round. You're not supposed to do this, I guess, if you, if, like if you don't get luck especially, but I wanted to do another round pure black. I don't think you need to because you think you can also get a, a marrow stone from, um, from the ticks in like the next level in 5-2. Let me check. Yeah. Okay, you can get it from the mosquitoes as well, so if you need one. But I, I've honestly never gotten one from the mosquitoes. They probably don't have a side drop rate for some reason. So yeah, I think that's why I just decided to go back. And maybe I didn't have to. Maybe it would have been a, maybe it's a waste of time, but it paid off, I think, for 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 this run. As you'll see shortly. I think it might have been this one actually. No, I don't think so. I think it's the next one. Yeah. I've yet to see a chunk of Merson draw for the mosquitoes. Maybe they attest that too. I should note that here. I'm gonna make notes from this video. Test Black Tenancy in Valley. Was that the chunk? Nope. And then test chunk drops in 5-2. Yep. Yay, the cut play. Okay, and then bring out the large sword, like, add, uh, again, bring out the large sword for any kind of farming. There it is. I got super lucky with the last one, huh? I don't think I would have done it again, so yeah. Worked out. Yeah, you saw it against these guys. Try not to hit the last one, but it happens sometimes. I think I decided to use one of the lotus this year, just to... Or, yeah, that too. It's so all the safety. I, I think I just want to be safe for the rest of the run after my few deaths here. Yeah, so homie soul mess and fireball should be it. It's a pretty easy boss. <laughs> pretty great actually. Grab this arch stone of course. Go forth. Go forth, Garvenland. May you be unharmed. Yeah, I use the Widow's Lotus here early, just because it's like it's it's there. Might as well. I can get some backups later. I put on the wrong thing. I was gonna put the Crescent Fashion to restore mana, but I don't need to. It's just me being like lazy. Not really, but you know, I don't I don't need after. I don't, you don't need the after the chunk. You don't really need the farm anymore, so you can take off the thing anyway. So I was like, you know what? Let me just equip it. Yeah, so here you're going to look for a couple items. You're going to look for first a shard of Sucker Stone, which should be this I'm going for right now. You do the toggling strats if you don't know about that. I missed it. <laughs> okay, shard of Sucker Stone, that's it. Uh, next up should be Broken Sword, which I believe is like the only item that's on an island, it's just in the swamp. Alright, yeah. Then now you're gonna go for the Cat Ring, be careful of Shrek. As we call her now, the, the Swamp Protector. Swamp Defender. There you go, cat ring. And then right here, close. I mean, I would, if she's being behind you, like, I would reload. Reload's gonna take away your second chance, but it's probably worth it because she's annoying. So, if she follows you, maybe reload there. And you can cast a second chance later. Um, yeah, so now it should be pure Sacristan, I believe, right here. 
Yeah, pure psycho cell, and then right next to it's like the chunk. And that's it for this segment. Now you're gonna go to the fog gate, uh, go after the pure black Selen, Selen Vinland. I believe this fight I have with is kind of spooky. <laughs> Which I, I think I could have, I should have just healed instead of like the whatever I did there. <laughs> it was really funky, but I didn't die, I'm pretty sure. Spoilers. Yeah, you try to kill her. I mean, I have a second chance there, so it didn't matter that I was close to death. Or dying, for that matter. I just casted that too, man. I guess it's a good thing I did, huh? Yeah, and that killed her. <laughs> so yeah, that was spooky. I think chat was very spooky. That was fine. It, like, it wasn't that bad, but... I get it. Yeah, and then loot her, because you need blind. Uh, you don't need P-Frank. I don't know what I was going to do for. <laughs> for marching. <laughs> um... Then after that, uh, oh, if you if you didn't get the chunk of Maristone, I guess you do kill these mosquitoes, like any you see on the way. There's another way to farm the farm them, I guess. But since I already got it, I can just skip. So this might have been a gold, even. Well, maybe not because of selling, but who knows? Um, yeah, what you're gonna do now is go kill the. Um, the primeval demon over here and it's not for the colors demon soul like hopefully you don't need one by this point you should already have a plus five uh thingy thing it's actually to increase the per your tendency again so because you did die in the beginning so hold on let me do the math here and so I can count how many times you can die even. So but like after this though you're gonna go to the the Moonlight Sword, basically, is all you need to know. If you don't know where it's at, we'll show you here. Let's see, what times? Okay, so we die four times. One, two, three, four. So we're in pure black for the very beginning. And then we kill one demon. Where else? I mean it's three. We kill the primeval. One, two, one, two, three. We kill Dirty Colossus and then Maiden. Ooh. Wait, can you not die at all in this segment? Maybe, maybe, um, Selen Vinland counts as a, a pure white. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, okay, so this is right here towards white. Killing one of the five named Pure Black World Tenancy NPCs that appear in the Pure Black World Tenancy. Meralda, uh, Skurver, Riddell, Satsuki, and Selen all count as plus three. Nice. So that might give him some leeway in some of the areas. Only the later ones, though. Okay, so okay, if that's the case, we should have gone to plus six in this level alone. Okay, so let's see. So yeah, uh, like I said, you get the... Moonlight Sword, and that's pretty much it for the rest until you go to uh, Dirty Colossus. Let's see, so you got a plus 7, you're at plus, or uh, minus 4, minus 3 after Leechmonger. 1, 2, 3 with Selen, 1, 2, 3. Wow, you're pure white after killing the primeval demon. So I guess you can technically die 1, 2, 3. Three times. Technically. Wow. Don't die more than three times. Okay, I wrote that in my notes. Noted. Okay, so yeah, so Derek losses, it's pretty simple. Like, you could either do Homie Cell Master or Fireball, they're both pretty quick. Just make sure to, um, 
break a little bit of his stomach. That way he can take damage. Because he doesn't take damage if you don't break away some of that. Yeah, so I would maybe do homie soul mass in that fireball again. I don't know why I decided to do that. I don't know. So let's forget some of the later game fights. Because I don't get to do this as much as I wish. But yeah, so now... Uh, don't worry about anything. Don't worry about curing poison or anything. Just touch the archstone and work back. Um, do not... Go out of order here. Follow the notes. <laughs> and I'm only yelling at you because I'm yelling at past me. <laughs> so this is the other thing I messed up when I got my 7 minute uh, uh, thingy thing. So you need to get the friends ring now. You can't get it after this. The reason why is because like you need pure white character tendency. You, can, you got it now. You should have got it a while ago I think actually even. But I guess for safety you get it now. Um... But yeah, you can only get it before you kill the arch demons. After that, the monumental just doesn't give it to you anymore. It just he's just like, oh, go talk to the old one now. So you need to do it now. You can't skip and keep going with maiden, even if it seems like you should. Excuse me. So yeah, go back and then go back in. <laughs> yeah, I lost. I lost the seven minute pure blade stone drop to. Me not following the order of my splits because I forgot. But yeah, now I'm gonna maiden. Uh, pick up this one as lows because I used the other one. You do need one now. Um, and now you do main Australia. Uh, you are gonna kill the lizard here. He's gonna drop a chunk of faint stone. I think even a pure for me. Yeah, he dropped a pure faint stone. The bastard. Yeah, and then go here, do this, the main strat for magic routes. Oh, this should be a lot safer, because you don't even need pure, uh, clever rat. Call me saw mass. Call me saw mass, she's dead. Yeah, and now grab the archstone. With the soul, obviously, in the ring. Reload. Split now. And what you're going to do is, um, get your clever rat ring out. And stop the plague once you get the clever rat. You're gonna need to kill the uh, this pure black goblin, which I believe only like he spawns here no matter what I think, or maybe I have to be pure white. I'm not sure. Hold on, let me check. Uh, goblin. I think he could just cut. He, he just here after. Um... Oh, pure white world tendency. Okay, so he has to be pure white. Okay, noted. So he only appears in pure white tendency, so yeah. So maybe it has to be like only two deaths or something. I don't know. Hey, maybe, maybe let's... I don't know. Never mind. I'll check my notes later. So yeah, so what you do here is uh, backstab him. Roll behind him, backstab him. Uh, kind of pin him here. He he will just kind of walk at you. He, sometimes he'll try to swing, but you can just stagger him with a fireball. So just keep doing this. As long as you have a full bar and he doesn't like block your swing or, or your spell, he should actually die right here. Oh, and because actually, I think I actually got. Yeah, you need. Oh yeah, I need to put on the Herculean strength ring. Grab this and grab that too. You don't need the armor. You'll need the shield. But yeah, I think here I actually got um, the pure mercury stone at some point, just by coincidence. Okay, so you get the ring, or the, the pure mercury stone. Oh, am I going the wrong way? Yes, I am. God damn it. Idiot. Yeah, this is sucker stone. You don't need that. <laughs> okay, forget this. Here. Oh, the Maristone. That's what I got. Yeah, the Maristone. That's what I meant. So I got the pure Maristone, so I don't need this. But what you do is go to, like, the little... The bridge here, and then just fall down. Right there. Down here. And then you go right across the swamp here. Make, be careful of the babies. The plague babies. 
and get the, the mercury stun. That's it. You just can leave. Yeah, because I, I um, because I got the mercury stone, I did the. Uh, I did skip. Okay, now you go deposit a bunch of stuff you don't need. Uh, you will need some of like the um items they need to upgrade later. So just like, so you should still keep like the bless maze, like the. Like the short bow, like some of the stuff you've been keeping already, still keep them. Keep the broken sword as well. I should actually make a list of this. Keep Demon Brand. Keep Uchi. Yeah, all the armor and, and shields and stuff, yeah. Deposit all that. And then come back to Valley Defilement 5 1. You should still be in, in uh, pure white. And you're just gonna go pick up Estrella. Or Estra. Estrarella? Estrarel? Estrarel? I actually have no idea. <laughs> I should know how to spell it. My split names might be wrong. Um, uh, this is also where you would farm, like the. like the What do you call them? The ticks as well. But, um. I refused. <laughs> I refuse in this one anyway. Like I might not be able to sometimes. Who knows? I need to make sure that the that the mosquitoes can drop a chunk for me to know that I want to do it. Yeah, it's just up here. The slider won't be here unless if you're pure white. Yeah, follow this routing. And just go up here. Have you shot an arch stun ready? And then right there, I just pick that up and draw, withdraw it from the, its land and then get the heck out. And it wasn't loud. Refused. Ooh, it's close. All right. All right, and now you need to go to one three. You're gonna go free Yuria. So if you know the quest, it's it's pretty much what you think. Although there's a few things extra, I guess. You need to note. Yeah. So you go down here. Uh, I would kill this guy right here. He's annoying. He he like interrupts you later. So I'll, I'll kill him personally, or you. Then kill this guy with some mess. You need his uh, keys. But you're not done yet, so go free Bjor. <laughs> free, quote unquote. What you should really do is uh, cast some mess when you're next to him. Hit him with Soul Ray. A few times. He's already dead while well, he stands up. <laughs> he just stands up and dies. <laughs> On my wall. Shindado. Yeah, and then pick up his stuff. You'll get the ring. I think it's called like Great Endurance or something. They try to watch them. You may need to put on the uh, other ring. The um, burden ring. Because the stuff is heavy. You probably do want to drop it at some point. Oh, here's the meme where it happens too. Uh, so go to um, you gotta go free your ear, right? You'll have the cap, the hat, the uh, fed official hat. Uh, you will need that. So uh, maybe don't be nearly like me and don't and, and do pick it up, which I don't realize until uh, until I try to put it on in a second. God, I can't believe that happened. I mean, it's not like that cost me the sub silk overrun. I'm pretty sure I was already doomed, but definitely didn't help. Yeah, like I go here, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put the hat now. And I put on the helmet, and I'm like, what? And then, I had my, and then it dawns on me <laughs> that I never picked up the thing. And here, it's just a funny thing, I had another chance to do it because I died at the penetrator. And I walk right by it. So I think I, my memory vaguely registered that I did see an extra drop there when I was walking up. 
but I didn't even try to pick it up. Uh, so I'm here, like, praying, like, oh my god, please still be there, please still be there. <laughs> and uh, luckily for me, right there. Yeah, this, this game is still good for, like, for, um... For just like not making you lose shit like that. <laughs> I'm sure it's not the thing for everything. But yeah. It happened there. And I put it on again. <laughs> yeah, so the chat is just freaking out. I was like, oh my god, Berta, what are you doing to us? Because reminder, this is the same run that had the, uh, like the Selen fight, the really wonky one. The one where I died a Penetrator. The one where I had to farm that chunk of Mariston again. We were motion at rollercoaster. Yep. Yeah, so put on the, the thing at any point, go up. Up, up, up. Before you, like, because you have head on, it should, they start, should start opening the thing, but uh, put on, or get on. I can't talk. Pick up these rings while you, while you wait for that to come down. Let me sell mask. He aggroes as soon as you take off the hat. So I think maybe the thing doesn't go on. Talk to her once. Without the hat, make sure you don't have the hat. And then yeah, should be done there. Now you're gonna quickly go to the True King fight. Believe it or not, we're not going to Dinga Plus quite yet, but it is a quick thing you can do. You can actually leave without going to Dinga Plus, believe it or not. You'll see how. It's just three days, I believe. Okay, and then like he said, uh, just wait to get the soul brand. You draw it and then shard of archstone. You can actually just do this, believe it or not. Uh, this is where I would actually like buy the rest of the spells. By the way, where I was talking, I was going to reroute it to here. But now, uh, you're gonna dupe the souls you had just now. There you just got just now the pure blood maiden, the wriggling, the dairy classes, and then like the other one, whatever it's called. Oh, Rhoda was dairy class, so we're getting the leech monk, right? Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to dupe that. Click another pure. Yeah, now dupe all the upgrade materials that you haven't yet. It shouldn't be that many, but it still be a lot. I think here, you, yeah, you do need to take the dragon? Why the dragon? The pure blood and then, what, the large dragon soul? Not sure why. I guess I'll find out soon. I'll, I'll analyze. Yeah, dupe every upgrade material you haven't done yet. Yeah, and you can also store stuff. I would directly recommend, recommend def definitely uh, storing some of that shit. The brush with stuff specifically. Especially. Yeah, the chunks and shards, large shards if there's any, but I don't think there is. Oh, wait, I don't think I explained character tendency after all. I mean, you actually you actually do need pure black character tendency now for Mephistopheles. So character tendency is... Um, uh, you get black and white tendency from... Killing NPCs. If you kill a good NPC that is an aggro to you and you just you make it hostile, you will definitely get pure black. If you kill enough or you get black tendency. 
And if you kill like the Black Phantom versions, which are the bad ones, you'll get pure white. So you kill all the Black Phantom ones earlier to get pure care, pure white character tendency. And now you're going to kill a bunch of regular NPCs for pure black. We also need to kill a bunch of them for just in general. Um, for general uh, quest reasons. Yeah, I believe that was it. So now you're going to start the murder spree. Like this. Kill this guy first. Uh, frig one aggro until after. Here, so this is why I said I should buy all the spells. So you you got enough souls from uh, the true king a lot. You don't need to memorize anything. Uh, kill him. You also need to loot him, I, I read. I don't know if you need to loot him for like proof or something. Like maybe you need proof to Mephistopheles that uh, you killed him. Maybe look, let me look it up right now. Now you got patches. For some reason, ones are freezing to die. Kill this lady. Kill that guy. Talk to you guy and like get all his spells. And that should be all the spells for this also actually. Should get the trophy there. Kill him as well. I guess to get his loot. Still looking to see if Mephistopheles acquires. Okay, and then reload there so she will actually spawn because you should be now in pure black character. Yeah, you can see it from this. Th this represents the character since he by the way. And then here it is for the world, but it depends on the world itself. Yeah, so accept quest and shard of archstone to get your, your FP back and then go kill uh, Yuria. Well, you're gonna need to actually talk to her first. And get some spells from her because she gets some specific spells that only her. Yeah, so oh, yeah, so get all spells that she teaches you. Wait, let me see. So we need our demon. Dragon. Beard. Yeah, I don't know why you get the large uh, dragon soul. Maybe you don't need it. Who knows? Let's really check that for the notes, though. Then kill her. It's cool. And get her hat. I think I think you need like something from her as well, though. Like, Yeah, I think she has a ring, so maybe you need to loot her regardless. The reason I don't know if you need to loot Freak is because the the ring you get from him, you kind of already have. So I don't know if you just need proof that you killed him or something. But from reading, it's not. Hold on, let me pause for a second. I'm reading the wiki dot. She offers you rewards in return for assassinating other NPCs. If you assassinate target, if an assassin's target is already dead, so I'll skip the next person on the list, do not receive any award. If an assassin target is alive and not in the Nexus, and you do not kill them in the Nexus, if Sophilis will not give you a reward and will not skip the next person on the list. If you have to talk, if you have to talk to her after a you hand the next task, you actually receive the individual reward. When assassination is complete and you speak to her for your reward, she will attack you after giving you the reward, which is now. Do I just have some sort of study? She sometimes dodges you like a bastard. Yeah, she gives it a full ring, so now you're done with the character events, for sure. But you do need to loot her, I'm pretty sure, for, um... I think the parrying dagger, and maybe the ring of the cursed, as well. Yeah. So I'll need to verify a lot of these things for the notes, for the trophies. Maybe test it myself. Yeah, now, uh, you need to buy... A dagger from him, from the this guy, short sword and the heater shield. 
And then you kill him because you do need his hands of God. That's the quickest way to uh to get him. And not too dangerous, because there are some like not too far away, but it is a little dangerous to get to them and yeah. He's right there. Um, alright, let me see. Let me see anything in my notes. So, yeah, you do need to pop a soul here, I would say, for like buying both full inventory worth of hearthstone and sharpstone. You may need the heavy ring, the the uh Herculean strength ring to be able to carry all this shit, so maybe have that on. Okay, and then Oh yeah, and then earlier you also needed to memorize Firestorm as well. You need either delete soul ray and fireball and then memorize firestorm okay so sharp dagger plus five melt it and then plus three dagger go to quality quality plus five melt it dagger plus three mercury dagger plus five Melt it one more time, or two more times actually, but you know for now. And then fatal route, fatal plus five. Melt it one more time, and then dagger plus seven, and then the best name weapon in the series for plus after plus seven. Needle of eternal agony. My favorite. Uh, short soap plus three. And take it to Dragon Path. Plus five. And then the Moon Short Sword if you haven't, but you should have already, maybe. Or Blue Blood Sword, or Broken Sword. Demon Brand, take it to Northern Regalia. Present Fashion plus five. Uh, yeah, plus five. Uh, Uchi Katana, take it to Tearing. And plus five. Bless Mace, plus five. And then Wing Spear, plus seven. For the Scraping Spear, everyone's favorite PvP weapon. Then compound short bow, take it to plus three. So take it to the sticky route. Plus five. Then melt it and make it into plus six. No, plus seven for the lava bow. And then lastly, go to the shield, go to plus six. And then heater shield, or uh, dark path, two plus five. And then after that, you're done for Negan, plus, or Negan. So you're actually only missing one trophy now, which is the, uh, I think the spells one. So you're currently going to New Game Plus solely for one spell. Just one. Literally only need one more item to get the last trophy. <laughs> you can do almost everything in New Game because of the um, duping. If you couldn't dupe, uh, you, you would have to go to a plus three or something. Because you need like four items or four souls for Maiden Astray, I believe. So yeah, that's a, the that's a problem with... Um, with... Uh, Dipping, I guess. But yeah, so... So yeah, so I guess like that's that's kind of going to be the big deal breaker for all trophies for um, Remake, I guess. Like, I'm, sh I'm sure a dupe will be found, if anything. Like, uh, maybe it'll be patched. Like, I feel like it will. But it might actually get, um... You know. Maybe another one will be found and you can just, uh... You can you can do this route, but if if, if there really is the, like if um if 
if there really is going to be less trophies for like for like the weapon or the yeah weapon upgrades and stuff like the material like that that'll be even faster because that's one of the biggest time sinks but anyway so um yeah you go into negan plus strictly for soul sucker which is why the split name but yeah so that's pretty much it um i mean i'll still commentate obviously um Maybe some of those chests can tell you, like, definitely freak, uh, f uh, ignore the fire bombs from earlier. Go here. Just keep going. You don't need to go get the more fire bombs, obviously, still. This is basically the 10% route for this new game. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I think here I sent cast second chance for safety, not on reload for the rest of the run, besides like that one uh place. Yeah. Cast it here since the the best place. Oh and I get really good RNG for these guys. <laughs> Only one of them didn't die. It's pretty cool. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> yeah, there's not much to say. Um, and like, I, I do have a lot of thoughts I want to say, but I, do, I don't want to just neglect like any potential like tips I can give here for the last Negan Plus, because Negan Plus is actually a little hard, especially um, the uh, Penetrator segment. Like, this one's not too bad, but Tyranite starts getting a little bad, and then. Yeah. So drop down, of course. I'd maybe heal at the bottom or something, or oh yeah, I forgot the fall damage is bigger because of the... <laughs> yeah, maybe heal here. And this should have been super satisfying right here. Firestorm on Phalanx is a one shot, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't give it to me, <laughs> and it's super disappointing. Hey, look at this. <laughs> I've never been so disappointed in my life. That should have been like the most therapeutic part of the, the whole run. It's just like, nah, bro. Now he gets one shot. Or like destroyed. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> so annoying. Yeah, skip the, skip, skip the archstone and just go. Yeah, that was annoying. That's my favorite part of the run, is just like, nah, bro. I definitely like maybe recover some mana here. Wait, did I get attacked by the dragon here? I don't recall. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, no, I did. <laughs> and I got fucking struck. Nice. Okay, and that cast this. I put him all spice again. Yeah, I was just being safe here. I was like, you know what? Like, I'm already not sub uh, silica. I'll just finish with a bang. Actually, no. The opposite of that. <laughs> finish safely, I guess. Not a bang. What the heck? Yeah, so th this, um... Oh, I almost used that, Jesus. So, bad. so this Tower Knight is a little tougher, because he definitely takes a few homie soul messes. I think only, like, three. But you did get the enemies harassing you as well. Probably need an spice. I was like, oh, you Steve Frank, because I don't think I need a... Yeah. I think my, my... What do you call it? My overburden is done, but then my... My things dissipate, that's great, heck yeah. No, he's dead. Definitely a little annoying. Let's 
So yeah, keep going. Again, all you need to do now is uh, free Yuria. So what you can do is just uh, go to the Fat Official a little bit later. I use Firestorm Head, I don't even know if that's the best option. Probably not, to be honest, but. He's this guy's kind of lot, lot, getting in my way. I use Firestorm here because it kind of covers like in front and behind me. <laughs> I still get knifed by the ninja. That's okay. I heal here just in case and all spice I do need it. And here, the, the strat that I showed earlier, it's probably even more useful for New Game Plus because uh, like you have the knight behind you and stuff and like you won't die right away and then yeah, you, you get shot. It's just a pain in the butt, right? So for safety, maybe just like, yeah, I did it twice because I think I walked a little too much and triggered them again. Okay, and then that, and that should still get him. Yep. Cool. So that's pretty consistent as long as you do it right. Then Homer, sh sh a short heart stone back. Then back in to release the area. Make sure to have the fat official cat, of course. You don't have to kill the knight this time, he won't be a pain in the butt. He's only a pain in the butt because of Bjor. So you have to, like, uh, release him and stuff and, like, kill him. Get his keys, get the heck out. Shard of Archon is probably the fastest way, I'm pretty sure it is. Back in. <laughs> no, that was definitely a little bit. Like after the um getting the the keys finding that big a deal. You never know. I always put on the wrong hat <laughs> every time. There you go. I go up. I mean, now now definitely don't need a like, <laughs> you know. Okay, now I actually like wait for him to do this. Let me sell mess again. I think you can just do like call me sell mess in R2. Yeah, I can't there, so yeah, I don't need to do the home sell mess, but yeah. Talk to her without the hat, shard of archstone, bam, and then go to. Yuria. And get the last thing you need. Oh, yeah, you gotta talk to her once. So Saka. Like that Ozzy Osbourne song. Heck yeah. And then I'm just waiting there to make sure I got the thing. Yep, there it is. There's the plat. But because of the way Emily works, uh, Courtney out actually makes the timer go to zero. So I look, go back in, but I can just do that instead. And yeah, and then I can just log back up. So yeah, that's um, that's the all trophies run. Uh, I am getting. I don't know if you can tell. Like we probably could. That I'm getting a little tired from recording. Like I took one decent break, like thirty minutes or something, maybe more, and then a restroom break after that. Sometime, <laughs> even that wasn't uh, enough to get me through all of it.
seems like. But, um, I mean, yeah, it, it, I, I did it. I did it. I definitely, that's, definitely, that's why it took me so long to make it, even though I PB'd in this like two, three weeks ago, because uh, I knew it'd be a little bit tiring to just sit on the computer for like two, three hours, maybe recording, essentially. And then now I'm going to have to do some research and maybe check if something is necessary. For example, like the black tendency I was telling you for, for, um, for valid defilement. I think there's, yeah, the chunks. There's one other thing that I wanted to check. Oh yeah, was it, um, PB, black, pure black, Garo Vinland tendency. Although that's a little harder to test. Maybe I won't test that. Who knows? Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this. If you watched all the way through, congrats. Holy shit, your stamina. I hope you plan to, uh, to run this. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know why you watched the whole the way through. Um, I mean, maybe not run, but if you could, like, get the trophies, that'd be great as well, for example. It would definitely be hella down for you to, like, watch this just to get the trophies or something. Like, if the remake, too, like, I'm sure a lot of these things could apply to the remake as well. I don't know if I'll make a guide for that. Probably not. But, well, it's not for a while, but... Um... As far as, uh, like, a run, I might actually do, like, one... One, um, all trophies run for that. Like, after I get my casual one. Just to see what the trophies are. If they're the same or not. If there really isn't a weapon upgrade, I imagine it's gonna be... Easier, but also harder, because it probably won't be dupes, like I was saying. Like... You still probably have to go to the plus three, but at least you won't have to farm for upgrade materials. That's honestly the worst part of it. Like, I that's what I was worried about when it came to, like, the trophies for, um... For, um... Demon's Souls Remake. I was, I was worried more about the fact that you would probably have to go, um... Like, farm a lot of the upgrade materials. And not be able to dupe a lot of the shards and chunks. That would be a pain in the butt. Oh, we'll see. I don't know. I've heard that's a rumor. Like, that's probably true, but I don't know. I haven't seen it myself. So, um, yeah. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it's helpful in some way. I'm definitely going to work on some notes so you can just read what I'm doing. I thought it would be thorough, but also somewhat concise with a lot of the things you need. Um, hopefully it works out. Uh, yeah. Uh, this will be on the De on the Demon Souls leaderboard guide for sure. If uh, uh, there's probably be a different one for the remake, I'll maybe add something there too. We'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna go rest now. I'm gonna go uh, enjoy my weekend or my Friday, I guess, is a recording on Friday. Um, just chill out, that kind of thing. Um, hope you guys have a good time. Hope you have a good good luck with the drops, pure blade stone, all that. Good luck with that. Hope it goes well. Etc. Etc. Um, yeah. Have a good run. Have a good day. Have a good night. Bye bye.